What's up, rock stars? Today I have the pleasure of unboxing an all in for Bloodborne for you. Now, uh, spoiler alert, I paid a lot of money for this, so hopefully it's good, but I guess we'll find out, right? Uh, I'm excited for this one. I have heard some things about it, some good, some not, and so uh, excited to uh, see it firsthand and let you know what I think. This is a stupid rulebook, and I dislike that as well. There we go. <laughs> All right, we're back at it. We have Burgoyne in order, or third bur bur whatever this place is. How is this better? How is this worth it? How is this good at all? Look at that. Oh my gosh. This has to be the worst miniature I've gotten from Come On ever. Now we have the Chalice Dungeon. Uh, this one, ooh, caught it. This rat looks more necrotic by far than like the Brood Mother, for instance, than No Sworn. Like, I mean, you gotta give it credit where credit's due. Now, two things I'd like to note here um, is first of all, this already bothers me because the boxes like aren't aren't even. And, uh, and so that bothers me. We're going to do one box and then the other. I'm not going to open this box yet, so we're going to find out what's in here afterwards. But I'm going to get out of the way. Now, while I open this, I want to quickly thank my patrons and YouTube members that through their financial support that I'm able to stay independent so that I don't take money from companies like Come On and, uh, in fact, even have to buy their games so that I can give you my honest feedback. And uh, if you appreciate that, and me talking, you know, my honest feedback and not my wallet's feedback, um, then and if you're able to, there is a link down below to uh, support this channel and stuff like this. That wouldn't happen otherwise without that. Additionally, we have some awesome sponsors. And so one of them is sponsoring this video. That'll be Skillshare. So thank you to them. Show them some love because they're showing the channel some love too. And I think, uh, I think it's a great service anyway. I'll talk more about that later, but for now, Let's see what's inside. All right. Oops. Okay, so <laughs> they just packed it in here. Look at this. So we have on the very top, we have uh, Murgo's Loft. That was a fun area. That's towards the end, if I recall. Maybe I'll have to look at it, but I believe so. Uh, then we have... Just Bloodborne, the board game. This is the Blood Moon box. I'm assuming that's um, ugh, stretch goals. Then we have the Chalice Dungeon. This is kind of the uh, special version of the game. It's a different play style that you kind of go through, much like the game, uh, the video game itself. Um, a lot of the stretch goals are for that, and I think that alone, but. I'll let you guys know in a review, of course. And then finally, the actual core box itself. This is uh, Bloodborne, the board game. Uh, this is from Michael Chanel and Eric Lang. Michael Chanel, by the way, did a lot of the updates for this, and he is definitely a true fan. So props to him for really caring about the IP behind it and not just making it feel like a cash grab. I think he did a great job with that. The rest is just packaging. Nobody cares about that. Let's go ahead. And shoot, you know, I kind of want to open that other box. Um, so if I was any other YouTuber, I'd say, comment below, do you want me to open the other box or not? And then I'd just do it anyway. I'm just going to do it anyway. Oh, mainly because I just want it all done. Put this uh, knife away after a while and we can just, just look at some minis and some cards and some, you know, map boards and, you know, God only knows what else is in all of this. Mostly minis though, right? That's what we're all about. <laughs> you know, I always said that uh, as far as like, the grim dark goes, Bloodborne is one of the most unique because whereas a lot of like Cthulhu stuff does tentacles, it does hair. It's like Cthulhu, but replace all the tentacles with hair and you have Bloodborne. Um, so, so there's that. All right, I'm gonna hold it this time. Let's see what is in here. They have packed this pretty tight. And just used paper, really. A lot of it's just paper and then nothing. Like, luckily, um, they shipped this pretty good. I think it went through... I, I, don't, I don't know what it went through necessarily, but uh, the box isn't banged up or anything, which is nice. So we have the 
Upper Cathedral Ward. Um, that was great. I, it, no, that's not the one. That was like the library. I had like the ghost things. I am noticing this official PlayStation logo reflective thing, which is super cool. Dig that. Then we have little expansions. Look at that. We have the Hunter's Dream Extras. All three of them. What's in here? More than that. <laughs> All right. Then we have... Bloodborne the board game Forsaken Kanehurst Castle Extra. Um, that's fun. This was one of the optional areas if I recall and uh, one of the uh, times I remember dying a lot. <laughs> Those guys outside of the castle were really hard. Um, then you have Yargol's Unseen Village. So we have that expansion. These are all different shapes and sizes. You know, I was just talking about the other unboxing where they made it the same size, you know, like, and this is like, nope, it's however big it needs to be. Um, this one is the Hunter's Dream. So that's cool that we get that. Um, very nice. So we get that area. Then we have, okay, see, I was never able to pronounce this anyway. Brigginworth, this one. <laughs> uh, this is the one with ghosts. That's like, like kind of like the library little area. Kind of remind me of um, like Luigi's Mansion or something like that, but you know, like deadlier. Okay, then we have the Forbidden Woods. This was, I think, the first one that I was really ad adamant about voting, uh, just because it's so different than the other areas. Um, because it's woods and all that. And what did we drop here? We dropped. We dropped. That it? That the box? Get rid of the box. We dropped the Forsaken Kanehurst Castle. Whoopsies. Uh, that's all right. This is a cool area. Yeah, so outside of here, I remember, was like super difficult. Once I got inside, totally fine. But the guys that would like move around outside in the snow, not cool. Not cool at all. Can't wait to die from them. Okay. There's a lot of game here. Let's get started. Okay, here we are. I have a pile here that's so high off my floor. You can see it poking up above. We're going to dig through it that way. Um, and I just put them there, so it's going to be in some random order. Uh, but let's start with the core box here. Um, I can tell you right now, there's a linen finish. I can see it through this. Um, the shiny PlayStation logo is on the outside wrapper, not the inside. I'm actually kind of indifferent there. I think it, part of me say, it says it would have been cool to be on the box itself, like the highly reflective logo. That would have been kind of nice. Um, and part of me is glad that there's nothing that distracting on it. So, but there is no like shiny part of it otherwise. It's just linen and very muted, of course, too, right? Just like the, the normal game. Then on the back here, we have uh, Welcome Home, Good Hunter, which is kind of, I think that, that might be the first thing she says to you, actually. And then uh, kind of shows a little bit of the game and talks about it and whatnot. Uh, don't care about any of that. Really, the, the important part here is that this is pretty much huge logo, like massive logo, almost centered, like top centered, right? Understand. Watch us talking to me. Top center here. Um, and I think that's actually kind of fitting. That's how the style always was. Um, but then it's it's just art and then a little bit below. So that's good. Let's go ahead and open it up. See what's in here. Okay. Uh, I can tell you right now, this is uh, kind of bare minimum wrapping. It's very... Very thin, uh, certainly not the thickest that I have ever had. Um, and I don't like it too thick though, like just, just a little bit. I will say right here, there is a little bit of a, a dent there, um, where it's kind of crinkled. But that's on the back, which is nice. On the front, it looks perfect. The corners look good. Happy about all that. And it's very, very linen, as you can hear. Um, so it, like it, it's like textured, like hardcore. I don't know if I have one with this much uh, texture to it. It's, it's, it's kind of weird. <laughs> All right, let's open it up. All right, so looking at this. Now, again, I'm going to be taking things out, but then we'll do the traditional overhead thing. We're going to be looking at the miniatures and all that stuff real close. So don't worry about that at all. Um, right here, I got some free, come on, content. Get it here. I'm going to cover up the QR card. You can't have it, but it's there. <laughs> Um, it's even got a little code there. I don't know what that is, but that's kind of cool. I dig that. It's probably some digital thing, maybe an art thing of some kind. I've got the rule book here. Not very thick. Not very thick. Um, I'm just going to take it out. I'm not even going to look at it yet. We'll take a look at it later. You guys know how I'm going to um, open that, though. So um, if you don't, just scroll down to the comments right now and you'll see everybody telling you how I'm going to open that rule book because. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's always the same. Um, I can tell you right now, this cardboard feels retail. Now, what do I mean by that? Um, cheap. No. <laughs> Um, kind of, yeah, no, I mean, if I'm going to be all kind of completely serious here, uh, not super premium, very thin, um, flexible to where it almost feels a little wet, if that makes sense. Like if you've ever had like, um, if you ever had wet cardboard, <laughs> I think you guys know what I mean. It, we, in Kickstarter, we typically get, um, cardstock that's so dense and thick that it almost feels like wood. You know, like, like it's not, you could dent it with your fingernail and stuff like that, but it, you kind of get that, especially like Monolith, who's like top tier cardstock, like their tiles for like Batman and Conan and stuff like that are so like, like they're, they're like pieces of wood pretty much. They're very thick and sturdy. Um, and this does not feel like that. It is a step above something like Shadow of Brimstones. It's not like garbage. Um, I would say right now it's better than the other garbage thing that I got, which was Starcadia Quest. I was really disappointed with that. Now, considering I got Starcadia Quest, now I've gotten this, and both of these are a little bit cheaper on the cheaper side. Um, they're definitely, I think, diminishing their card stock compared to what I'm used to receiving from Kickstarter. Uh, they seem to punch out pretty good. They do, not only do they have a tag, but they fray a little bit. Um, we'll, we'll take a look at that more. Um, I'll, I'll show off some of those on like a closer look here, but, uh, I don't want to do the whole zoom in, zoom out thing, but yeah, these tags are pretty noticeable. And again, they fray even, they're not like, they're not like solid. Um, that one's actually pretty good, but the others are, they're fluffy. They're fluffy. Um, but it is poking through. Okay. I mean, it's not, not too bad. Let's, let's go ahead and just do a, a one. Yeah. So see, this is still attached here. There now it's detached. Um, Definitely heavy on the uh, the tags there. It's going to do backwards. That's uh, pretty clean there by the looks of it. I'm not too. I mean, I was like, maybe I spoke too soon. Um, I'm not too concerned about it peeling away any of the sides. Um, but it is kind of unfortunate. They're they're okay. I mean, they're they're not bad. Uh, so don't 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 get me wrong there. Um, they have a very, very, very slight linen finish. Very slight. Not like, not like this at all, right? There's that. There's, there's, it's like, it's nothing. Um, but you can kind of see it a little bit. It's fine. It's fine. Colors are okay. They're a little muted, but I think that's what I would expect. So we got that. We got, uh, tiles. Now notice again, um, if you've seen me do enough of these unboxings, you know how these tiles typically like fall out, right? I pick them, I pick them up and now they're finally starting to come out, but... You kind of had to jostle them a little bit there. Um, and again, like normally you pick them up and they're falling out everywhere. It's because they are pretty tagged on there and those kind of do stay. Um, the backs of them are cool. I like that. That's cool. So that's nice. And then of course on the uh, top here, I like the, actually the color is actually pretty darn bright and good. Um, I don't recall it being that bright in the game because <laughs> it wasn't, but uh, that's fine. I mean, they're okay. What I will say is it doesn't look like, it doesn't look like they're going to uh, be too warped, but let's find out real quick. I can do that real quick. Let's, see, let's get a few more here. I don't have, to have all of them, just some of them. So if you wanted to know, like, again, just how, gosh, these tags, I swear, like that is in, insane. Ugh, got it. Um, I mean, very, very, bendy right i mean this not and i get these are skinny right but not very firm i mean i mean you could you could like almost like <laughs> just and it just starts peeling off yeah i mean it's it's whatever i'm gonna make a mess is what i'm gonna do okay let's get this last little bit of tiles and we're gonna flip them and see if they're uh, bent or not and then we'll move on to what's next in here okay Here's the tiles. Uh, they look pretty, I mean, a good grief, you can see all the tags. <laughs> Golly. Okay, flip them like that. Let's see. Is there any bowing? Uh, not really. So it looks like they're not uh, very bent, which is nice. They're just gonna stand up like that, huh? Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, let's just do one on this side. Uh, perhaps a little bit, I can see more on Nah, I don't know. I will say, oh my gosh, like there, it's already starting. This right here is already starting to separate. Um, 
Let me actually zoom in. I want to see if we can zoom in and see this. Otherwise, I'll show you uh, elsewhere. All right, so hopefully you can see right here how it's just starting to uh, kind of come come apart right there. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'll show you on the other camera, but that's already starting to just kind of peel, which is really, really unfortunate. Okay, and honestly, the more I look at this, like the worse it is. So it's really bent here. I'll show you uh, again in the, the other section. It's bent here. These are just bad. Um, not happy with the the diminishing quality I'm getting from come on this is getting worse not better um, and that's really unfortunate really unfortunate that I, I have uh, tokens filled with tags um, that are very light like I swear it's like this cardboard's half air um, and then tiles that right out of the box because they dropped down or like now now like physically bent uh, that's ridiculous it should not be that way at all Okay, anyway, get rid of these other crappy tiles. Next up, we have this board here. Now, one thing that's nice is it is double-sided, so that's cool. I dig that. I don't actually recognize this symbol at all. Um, I know there were different, like, kind of runes you could get, but um, I don't remember which one was which or anything like that. It's kind of weird to, to highlight that, but whatever. It's different, which is kind of cool. So you have the Hunter's Dream, you have the Chapter, and then the three enemies, um, and then kind of your your tracker here. This is kind of a, a, a main board there. This is actually fairly thick for for I like it, for what it is. Like it, it, it feels pretty robust. You can kind of hear it. Um, not bad at all. Like it's, it's not super. Um, like it's not. It's, it's not as thin as like a piece of paper. Um, I'm actually okay with this. And then we have more free digital content. Uh, don't know if that's the same thing or not. Hold on. It is the exact same code. <laughs> so nothing different there. This is Welcome Home Good Hunter. I do like the box on the back. It shows me where they go. This is not very useful because it's on the back of the box. Um, top tray, bottom tray. Like, I don't know why they don't just do what everybody else is doing, or not everybody else, what people have done in the past, which is just put a, a an, an image on each, each row, but um, we'll see. Okay, so this was a little bit loose in there, but <clears throat> we have the hero cards, uh, which is uh, based off the weapon, kind of like you know, primal or a monster hunter kind of thing. So you have the saw cleaver, and then you have the threaded cane, the hunter axe, and then the Ludwig's holy blade, uh, which of course is great. And then on the back, you have the transformed version. So you still have the same name, but it's a transformed version of the weapon, which is super cool. I dig that. Um, maybe. So he is not, the saw cleaver is not being put together, at least. Is it? Oh no, it is out. Okay. He did put, so it, it curves and pulls out the thread. Okay. All right, all right, that's good there. Um, that being said, there are pre-existing tags even on this. Then we have the dashboards. So you have your trick weapon, you have your blood echoes, your HP, and your firearm. Uh, this all sounds so much like Bloodborne, which is cool. I dig that. And then the back, again, everything on the back is, is kind of nice and pretty. Uh, this looks good. I like this. Now, we have a tr character tray here, or a, I guess... A, just a tray here, and this is looking really nice. So one of the cool things here is we have numbers here. I'll show this off in a little bit, um, but uh, little, little curved tokens here where you can put the tokens and they can fit, you know, kind of move out there. This is a really nice tray, actually. It's quite, quite good. And then we have uh, player aids and cards here. We have more cards, more cards. Um, we got enemies and then different sections uh, are kind of separated here. I think those are bosses on the top. And then again, more sections and stuff like that. So uh, consumables we have here. Um, this is cool. I like this. Uh, this is a very interesting tray. I don't, I don't have a tray like this, so that's kind of cool. That is the core box. That's everything in it. Um, again, we're going to look at everything in more detail here in just a little bit. All right. Um, so actually, see, I don't know where this stuff goes now. Though. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna actually go ahead and dive into this, and then we'll just go box by box by box. Um, I might combine some, but uh, for now we'll just look at this one. So let's go do that. 
All right, we have a core box. Now, now before we get into this, I'm going to show you once and for all what I'm talking about here. Okay, so here is a token from Bloodborne. Here's a token from Oko Chronicles, an indie game that did not make nearly as much money. Okay, and as you can see, they're pretty much almost the same size too. Can you see the difference here in quality? Do you see how crappy the commands Bloodborne that made millions, how, what, what cardboard they're using, how much effort they're putting into that? Can you see Oko Chronicles here and how much better that looks? How much more compressed, how much better quality uh, paper material they're using? Um, clear clear difference even the um the thickness of the print on the top you see how thick and rounded that is and then you see how um unthick and non-rounded that is it's almost like a hard edge i mean it's it's rounded but it's not the same uh you can just you instantly tell which is a better component and the bloodborne one is pretty much crap this is really what i expect from kickstarter it's what most of their competitors are doing and so if uh, you're not come on but another company this is typically what you're putting out mythic games monolith um, Red Joker, right? All Most of the games that I get come like this. This is trash that they do because they assume that people at retail don't care. And so they'll put out crap like this. And that's not cool. It, it, it They should have better um, love for the retail uh, players as well and actually give them something quality like literally most of the industry is already doing. I just wanted to point that out because I know I was talking about that. And it's 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 these boards too. I mean, you, you can kind of see, same thing, right? Like, just ridiculous. In fact, I had a, I don't know if it was on this one or not. I mean, you can see how quickly they're they're bending, right? Because it's so soft, you can just compress it. I could literally squeeze it and bend that corner. Um, whereas this, obviously, is, I can squeeze it, and it does have a little give, right? I mean, it's, um, it's, not, it's not wood. Closer to me by composite. Um, but it, not like this at all. Uh, so let's see. I know there was one that I wanted to show you guys that was like already really bad. So let's let me see if I can't find that. Um, let's see here. Remember, it was already starting to come apart. I mean, look, look, do you see the bend there? Oh yeah. Look, look at this. Look at this. This is not what I want from a brand new game. Look at that. You know how bad that's going to be over time. How's it going to be uh, five play, play sessions in, or four, or six, or ten? Um, when is this just going to fall apart completely? Yeah, look, look, look at this. That's crap. Crap. This is a complete failure and definitely will be a negative in the review. Look for a, a tirade there as well. Because that's bull crap. All right. I'm not going to even bother with the rest of this junk. It's bad. And you shouldn't be happy with it. You should. You deserve better. Okay. You get that little thing. Who cares about that? Rule book. Rule book. Let's uh, let's zoom out a little bit here. There you go. So you can kind of start seeing things, stuff and things. All right. So we have the rule book, and as always, like stuffed crust pizza, we start at the back. Okay, we got some credits. Nobody cares about that. Hey guys, I know we're in the middle of something, but I want to take a quick break to thank my sponsor, Skillshare. And this isn't some bull crap thing or anything like that where I just want some money and so I'm just going to peddle crap at you. This is real awesome stuff. I use this personally and I'm going to tell you how right now. If you don't like any kind of ad at all, there is a time, you know, skip you can do down below. That's fine. I understand. But for those actually interested to hear how I use this, especially I found one of the coolest things I have seen yet on Skillshare. So right here is Graphic Design Masterclass, Learn Great Design. Now this is by a lady who has done this for 14 plus years. So she knows what she's talking about. She's done a very various mediums from YouTube thumbnails to magazines to typography and all this kind of crap. And all I want to say is this is over 14 hours of ed like highly educational, very efficient teaching. You know, they're only like 12, 10, 15 minutes, a lot less than even my video here, that's for sure. And I mean, it is incredible. I only just started it, um, but as you can see, there are uh, over a hundred lessons, 113 lessons, and then there are follow-up lessons after this that you can deep dive in different things. You don't have to do everything. You can kind of pick and choose, of course, but um, like they have one specifically for YouTube they, uh, thumbnails. They have one specifically for um, you know, InDesign and uh, um, uh, Photoshop and all these other uh, things that I need to kind of learn or that I'm, I'm hoping to learn. So I'm going to be watching this. And if you see some changes to my thumbnails, hopefully they're for the better. Let me know, actually. 
Um, I'm going to be trying some new things out, just really trying to up my game. I'm always trying to improve, but this would be helpful for literally all sorts of different reasons, not just YouTube. So I'm really excited about that, especially like the, I'm going to do the typography stuff. Also, it takes me a long time to do thumbnails, especially ones where I have to like trace the mini and kind of select and stuff like that. And it looks like she already has some really nice tricks on how to do that more quickly and efficiently and efficiently so that I will be able to save a ton of time, which will help me get a little bit more sleep. So anyway, there is a link down below. If you are interested in Skillshare, it is actually quite cheap, less than $10 a month. It's, it's incredible. There is a savings code down there. So Go ahead and click that link if you're interested. It may as well save some money while doing it. Um, seriously, it, it, they have everything here. But when I saw that there was 14 plus hours from an industry veteran that knows what they're talking about, that it covers a wide variety of things so I can pick the best text at the best size with the best colors. They talk about color theory. That's going to be helpful. Even my painting, right? And talks about even like what colors do what with like emotions and stuff like that and what pairs with what and how to, you know, uh, and, and delimitate to like another color and all sorts of stuff. Like there is a ton. I mean, you can see all this stuff here. It's insane. There is so much here. I'm going to be learning way more better stuff on how to, way more better stuff on how to speak. No, on how to do Photoshop. Um, I hope my passion comes across here with this because I don't want this to be like some kind of like typical sponsor thing. This is cool stuff. It's great. The quality is fantastic. There are so many different projects and resources that you can download here to do stuff. They have a Facebook group. I mean, this is like a legit thing and I get it for less than $10 a month plus thousands and thousands of other stuff so it's great there is a link down below show them some love because they do show this channel some love and uh, let's get back to the video hey guys so i'm sitting here editing the video and i figured out i didn't say what i needed to say for the skillshare thing because you guys need to know what it is that's being offered so down in the link below the first thousand people to click that link and that's it it's literally limited to a thousand will get a free premium trial to uh skillshare which is an awesome deal and uh that way you can cancel at any time if you need to but you can kind of test it out to see for yourself if there's anything maybe that interests you maybe a deep dive into a new hobby or whatever it might be either way that's again the link down below the link down below in the description and the first comment that will be pinned there first thousand people will get that for free all right now let's, let's keep going and already a failure on the rule book because there is no index now this is interesting because come on normally puts an index in in fact it's one of the few things i can consistently say that come on does well is these indexes so it's weird to see a, a glossary at the end and then it looks like just just rules now you can i've seen it done before where it's a glossary but it has page numbers and it's an alphabetical order right here the glossary is an alphabetical order but there are no page numbers that i can see at all so it's useless to me in the middle of a, a, a you know unless this little sentence here answers my question and this is all that i needed to know about block this doesn't help me and it doesn't tell me where block is mentioned in this rule book and the rule book is a wonderful 25 pages of rules and i have to leaf through this and figure out where block is because i don't know in god's name where it is probably maybe under combat let's see haven't found block yet maybe it's over here where does it talk about block you guys don't dodge that's close but then it's resolve it there's no block where the heck is block combat specifics I, I mean, I obviously haven't read it yet, but do you, do you see how this is not helpful? You would think it would be under combat, especially when you start listening to like dodging crap, but it's not there. I don't know where they mention block. Maybe it's somewhere within this, and it's not even a header. For all I know, block is just part of like a, the regular combat. I just can't. Here's attack. You would think it would be attack and then block, but I don't know. I mean, it's just... it. Every single rulebook in existence should have an index. Always, 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 always have an index. 100% of the time, there's zero excuse not to have one. The shorter your rule book, the shorter your index, there's even less excuse. It's even easier to make. Now, this is not an index because it's not in alphabetical order and never lists more than one page. And it is only based off the headers which aren't necessarily helpful. For instance, I don't see block listed here at all. So I have no idea how to find out how to block. Um... This is a stupid rule book, and I dislike that as well. Let's see if we can at least like the minis. Hopefully we can do that. Okay, well I know I've already told you I don't like the crinkly cheap tray that they do. 
I don't like the fact that there's no lid on this. But I do like that it's not snapping. So there's that at least. We're, we're I guess, making progress. Uh, they do have the caps and are these? No, these are the hard ones. I prefer the silicone ones, but these are the most standard ones. I don't know why. Maybe the silicone's more expensive. Um, but it, either way, the hard ones, when you paint them and you paint the rim, make it all nice, you, and you snap those on, it's going to scratch off the paint. Unless you put like a crazy amount of varnish or something weird like that. In which case, it probably wouldn't have fit in there anyway. Because it has these little, little nubs in there that help grip it. But at least there's a spot in there for it. So well, let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit and start looking at some minis. All right, let's look at kind of this guy who is a jerk. Don't like fighting him. <laughs> um, so you can see the kind of uh, runes on the axe look pretty good. This is actually fairly bendy, but it seems to be keeping its shape quite well, which is nice. Um, it has some great detail down in here, which is kind of difficult to get. Uh, normally, you know, you wouldn't necessarily get a collar there, which I think is what we're looking at there. Uh, the face looks pretty good. He's got a mouth. He's got a nose. He's got his eyes wrapped. The thickness of the hat is about as thick as I would like it. Um, you know, it, it, it could be a little bit skinnier, but this is actually totally fine. I'm okay with that. Um... He's taken up pretty much most of the base, which is kind of nice. I don't like necessarily overly large bases, so it is easier to base that way. The inside of the sleeve is not too bad. I mean, obviously, anytime you, you get the inside of the sleeve, it's a little awkward, right? But, <laughs> you know, it, it is what it is. Um, The gun here actually looks great. Normally, they don't put a lot of detail here, but they got like a little bit of a swirl here and a little sight. And the top part's a little bit different, a little fancy. Got a little bolt here. Uh, I can see his finger actually go through there. That's actually really good. I dig that. Uh, looking at the back of him, uh, the wrappings look good. Hair looks good. Wrappings on the uh, weapon look good. There's a little bit of a mold line here. But otherwise, uh, this is actually pretty good. I like this one. Um, the the axe could maybe be a bit skinnier too. I think it's maybe a little thick. It doesn't get quite to the sharp point that I want it to be, right? But otherwise, pretty darn good. Now, we got this guy here, and uh, these are like some of the first enemies you, you find. Um, a little bit of cleanup, great texture kind of pretty much all over the place, and many different kinds of texture. And that being said, you don't want to, any, if you have a nice paintbrush, like a Winsor Newton, or Rosemary & Co., or Da Vinci, or anything like that, don't touch this miniature with it, like at all. It, this texture will ruin that <laughs> Kolonsky brush brush like nobody's business that would be bad um but otherwise pretty darn good um I, th there's kind of heavier mold lines and while this claw i think looks very good um it gets a little fuzzy here and then it gets even worse here where i can't even tell necessarily if there is a claw and so that detail kind of goes away which is unfortunate and then of course the the feet um are just kind of a solid thing it, it'd be nice if there was a little bit deeper of a groove there to show the separation um but it's all right. The eyes, however, I think look great. Love the eyes. And I think the mouth look, turned out really good as well. And I can tell you right now, this looks terrible. Look at that. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Now, you can paint it black. I get that. And you're going to be looking at it like this. And I get that as well. Right? You're gonna be, it's going to be on the table. Right? And you're not going to see the bottom until you pick it up and actually look at it. And you're like, oh my gosh, what the heck happened here? Um, you know, so again, there can't be negative space without it being a separate piece. And so they didn't want to, they wanted to make this into what looks to be a single cast. And so to do that, they just had to fill this in straight down. <laughs> um, it would have been nice to at least lift up. I've seen that before. And this does have a little bit of a lip, which is nice. You see the little bit of a lip here and that does help. It really does. Um, but because this is angled down as well, it's not straight like, uh, this way, right? It's actually angled a little bit. And so if you were a little raised, you start to see that, right? And then it just gets worse and worse. So could have been better, but I still appreciate the lip at least. Um, and again, you paint that black and it, it looks fairly okay. Um, and definitely something that looks best on the board and not looking at it, right? Because then you get that kind of awkwardness. Uh, Detail-wise, inside the robe is actually quite good, which I appreciate. Um, that's not always the case. Uh, the bandages look good. Hopefully they can do bandages well or they're really screwed. The feet on this one look a lot better. Much better feet on this one compared to the other one. Um, and in fact, his claws are better too. This is just better detail. 
Uh, I like the little tiny detail here and that really heavy rippling at the bottom and then that kind of tightness around the chest here makes it look really cool because you get that different kind of uh, texture at play here. Same with the head, especially the shape of the head. Very unsettling to see that shape. It's like, why is it shaped like that? And then, of course, the cow going all the way down is super cool, too. So overall, I like them, though it, that's still always sad to see. All right, let's look at this guy here. Notice that they are all uh, labeled here, which is nice, but there's no label here. I kind of showed you a news video about how they're starting to label these like an onk, which is nice. I hope they keep doing that. Uh, at least this tells you maybe no. Maybe it tells you kind of what tray it's in ish a little bit, but you know, whatever. Um, okay, so mouth looks great, wrappings look great. Um, the the layering here is actually quite nice. The assembly is actually fairly good. I'm happy with that. Uh, the feet looking even better than the last one. We're getting better and better feet. That's apparently the focus of this video. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean everything looks nice. I really do like the uh, the pose of this one too. I think he he just looks in an action pose right like 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 this is cool and all but this is a stance more than uh necessarily an action pose right like this guy's in the middle of some stuff right he's not just standing there like that all right take a look at some of the heroes here let's start with the main one here he seems small these uh, like like these seemed normal yeah he is shorter hmm i'm gonna have to see what skill these are at I might, I might come back with a with another mini and see if these are smaller because he seems is he like 30 millimeter 28 I don't know it, it does not seem normal size to me this seems smaller that being said detail wise uh the layering there is actually insane um especially for the size um great facial stuff there love the weapon came out wonderfully do really like that um, the gun is actually fairly good, especially for its size. Um, it's got uh, the separation between above the barrel and below. It's got a little detail towards where he's holding it, which is also nice. And uh, see, the straps look good. The weathering there is good. Uh, a fairly plain, uh, situ you know, seating of him, you know, or standing of him. But um, yeah, no, I mean, he looks nice. Just wasn't prepared for them to be so small. But yeah, they're tiny. Tiny little things. I uh, love the giant, <laughs> the giant urn cannon thing. Um, and again, great uh, flow of kind of uh, the 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 uh, whatever this is, <laughs> the cape like thing. And notice the hair is also that way as well. First of all, she's looking that way, but also it helps because this is flowing that way too. So it just gives it a little bit of motion, a little bit more believability that this is on the same side. Um, some crazy nice detail here, like very. Very tiny detail, uh, but it looks great. Uh, detail all uh, in the inside as well. And this is actually quite skinny, but it's supported like pretty much all the way down there. So that's good. A tiny bit of fill right in there. Um, barely even noticeable. And uh, almost no mold lines to speak of. All right, so then we got Ludwig's Holy Blade. This was my favorite. I loved this sword. What's cool about the sword <laughs> is uh, a little bit um, it, there's a tiny sword like a like a fencing almost sword right in here and then this is on your back this is the transformed version of it and essentially this is the sheath but you put it in the sheath and the sheath is actually a, a, a blade so now the sword is this giant sword so you went from this like fairly long nimble kind of low damage with fast attack sword to this lumbering big if you know d high damage but slow sword um, through the sheath, which I thought was really, really cool. So I really dig um, the fact that they included that in here because I really liked that weapon. It is unfortunate that it's like bending two different ways. It's like bending this way and then this way. They could have definitely used either ABS in this or, I mean, it's a single cast uh, by the looks of uh, the head is probably added. I don't know. Let's see, because you would need the, you would have to do it this way. Look at some weird angle like this or something like that, right? Top and bottom uh, to have that there. You couldn't do it this way, obviously. Um, anyway, it would have been nice to have either more ABS in the mix um, or, you know, just actual ABS there. Because that, I'll try and straighten that. But stuff like that, it's kind of hard because you, you, like, you can try to maybe do this. I don't know. It's just, I'll maybe this. I'll, I'll do what I can. We'll see. Because I love this weapon. This will probably be 
what I roll in the game just because I enjoyed it so much in the video game. But uh, it'd be kind of unfortunate if that's not the case. Another transformed weapon. Here's the axe. It just, uh, I believe this is a transformed version. Essentially, it goes from big to bigger. <laughs> so this whole middle section just like telescopes out. It gets ridiculous, and I believe that's what this is. Um, yeah, the the blade again could be a little bit skinnier. In fact, I want to say this is skinnier. Yeah, it totally is. Do, do you see the difference there? Like this is thicker than this, which uh, I, I feel like they should be the same thickness. It's weird that they would make this thicker, though it's holding in shape whereas that one didn't. So, you know, it is what it is, I guess. Um, I love the hat. I think that's cool. The robes are neat. Um, the big old hood there is cool. There's not a whole lot to talk about this one, though, I feel, because we already looked at that other axe, which, um, because this is another hunter, is pretty much the exact same thing, as you can see. So, that's why that's the case. They're, they're the same same darn thing. <laughs> Just the hero version of it. All right, let's look at the other tray. Oh, there's a lot more here. A lot more here. Oh, this is exciting. All right, big old lid here. And uh, let's look at these guys. Look at this. Um, this is kind of a great test on whether or not they're going to be able to pull off the monster designs. Because like I said, there's a lot of hair and fur and ribbed bandages and cloth and stuff like that. So if they can do that, they're golden. And it looks like they can do that, so they're golden. Um, the inside of the mouth is textured, which is nice to see. There are teeth and they are separate, which is nice to see. There are eyes and eyebrows, which are nice to see. Inside of ear, and it's actually concave, that's nice to see. The claws actually all look great, all very well defined. I can tell where the claw starts and the finger ends, or vice versa. Uh, the hair quality is nice. The assembly is good. Um, you know, there's a little bit of a gap there I would definitely fill. It's going to be hard to... To paint in there without breaking them off. If you ever want to break a mini off of a base, by the way, put it in the freezer. Almost 100% of the, like 95% of the time, they just use a basic super glue on these, and the super glue becomes incredibly brittle at cold temperatures. The rest of the mini stays fine, so you can literally snap them right off. Um, very cleanly, uh, you, you'll be amazed. It, it's actually almost the easiest thing ever. You just throw it in there for a couple hours. I typically do it overnight. Um, but then you could really paint underneath there if you care. Um, otherwise just spray some like, you know, black primer in there or something like that shadowed. <laughs> You're good to go. Um, yeah, I love the pose by the way. Um, it just, it's really filling out the entire thing, but I love the, um, how the body is contorted a little bit as he raises the arm. Uh, it's not just like a static arm raise without any body movement at all. So that looks nice. Next... Get a whole bunch of these guys. These are slow moving guys. Uh, the hat is a little thick for my taste. I'd like to see a little bit less thin or a little bit more thin. Uh, Lantern, I think, came out good. I'm happy with that. His fingers holding it also came out great. Um, his bell is flat in here. That's, a, again, unfortunate. I would have liked to see it kind of go up in there, but uh, overall, that's fine. And it's flat here as well. Um, this is a, pretty much exactly how they are in the game, so I'm not too concerned about that. This bottom part is not attached. Um, the detail on here is there, but it is kind of odd, and it looks a little bent to me. Maybe it should be kind of like that. I don't know. Maybe it just, maybe just a smidge. Uh, fingers look good here. Yeah, nice quality mini. Um, I like that uh, he's just a slight overhang. Just a, just a slight overhang right there. Uh, otherwise, he's definitely walking towards you to get that motion. Next up, we got these guys. This is one of the first, uh, this pr pretty much the first big mini you you, you fight. Uh, this is very early on. Um, he's like banging on a uh, on a wall, and you can kill him before he ever even turns around. But if he doesn't, you can tend to find out that hey, he has a uh, giant brick, and he can throw this at you. Do all sorts of other things. A bit of a poor spout there. There's an, some assembly here. That is uh, not the best. Oh, on this side, it's actually quite good. Yeah, because that just looks like a wrapping. Um, on this side, a little, like, really what it needs here. You see how there's texture on this side, right? So it just kind of blends. You see how there's no texture here? See how it's just, like, completely soft? If this had texture, this would blend beautifully. But this is, like, smooth. This is, like, baby butt smooth right up here on his neck. And that's a little unfortunate. Um, the cape coming in to kind of connect to the body and the arm is a very common trait 
uh, this is done uh, with taste. I feel sometimes it's very awkward. Uh, I don't find it awkward here at all. I think it looks good. Feet look good. I love the little bit of overhang here. Uh, that's great. I love the patchwork there as as well. Um, again, a lot of these just have some really rough uh, um, textures for your brushes. There's also, again, some like, I don't know if, it, like it almost looks like somebody like, I don't know. It's just, it's it's weird that it gets white here, right? Do you, do you see that? Like there's been some strain here of some kind. It's either gr ground against something or I'm, I'm not sure. Um, I see that every now and then. All right, next up, let's look at some people. Here we go. So the whole three villagers that are angry uh, sh shtick is in full force still. Uh, this is definitely, I think, the best one that I've seen, though. I love how separate they are. Um, it's nice to not have them super clumped together, but still, you know, right up there. Uh, the fire is going to look great on here. You got two of them there, plus the lantern. So you're going to get some nice OSL on all three of them, I feel. Um, I love how he has the weapon there. He has the shield here. The shield, by the way looks great um axe again also looks good and notice the axe is skinnier it is still unfortunate that the main character axes are so thick compared to that axe do you see oh, look at the difference there make it that skinny i don't know why they made it so thick you know there was there was a time when come on was like in the lead uh and that is just no longer the case they're good minis don't get me wrong these are nice um but they are they are not leading uh, that's for sure. That being said, the design of this, I love. Really like this. And you get quite a few of them. That's actually cool. Like, I like those a lot. All right, let's look at this one. Uh, this was one of the first painting, painted ones I saw. And the amount of, like, the way they did the red here was super cool. Hate how disgustingly skinny it gets there. That's really weird. Um, I love the overhang on the, the base there. Uh, you can see the face just kind of staring out at you, which, again, looks cool. But, again... This will actually be a little bit easier to paint here. You could probably paint it this way for the most part, just based off of the the curvature and whatnot. But you could also, again, always freeze it right off, and it'll just come right off, no problem. Um, just right here, here, and here, and you're good to go. But yeah, no, this looks great. Uh, all of the uh, all the detail is where I would expect it for the most part. Um, some of the the skeleton part is a little bit. Uh, shallow, but I, I think there might actually be a little bit of skin left there. I don't think that's pure skeleton, so... Because <laughs> here's pure skeleton there, and you can see that's a lot more rigid. No, that's that's a cool, cool mini, though. Really freaky, though. Alright, let's look at this one. Speaking of freaky, here's uh, this one. Got some teeth. Quite a lot of teeth. Really like seeing that. Plus the tongue. That's cool seeing that in there, too. The ear looks great. That's actually awesome. Horns look good. There's not really a, much of a texture to the horns. Um, I don't remember if there was in the game or not. There also is very faint texture on the ears. Um, not really anything worth mentioning. You're not going to notice them on the board, and you won't notice them painting either. The long, stringy hair uh, over the fur is both unsettling and cool, so I dig that. Uh, the tiny little like shirt <laughs> that they're wearing is great, especially with a little sleeve here. I dig that. Um, yeah, she, her transformation was not okay. <laughs> um, yeah, especially, like, like, look how it spilled out here each way. That's cool. Love the pose, too. I love how she's still in that kind of prayer stance. And, uh, I'm, I'm talking a little bit from the game experience here. And then this leg here being bent here and here is disgusting and weird. Like, the whole double bend, I don't like. <laughs> but, no, that's a cool looking mini. I like that one. All right, we get four of these bad boys. Look at that. Um, so this is, uh, again, these they should be tall, and they are. I mean, if you look at the, the scale difference here, and maybe that's why they made it, made you tiny. Like, that is a big difference. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's, and again, I feel like that's even skinnier. There is a little bit of a bend here, though. You see that? I don't think that's on purpose. I think it should be straight, but I can't. I mean, you know, you never know. They're all bent that way, though. Here, you can see I have quite a few of them. They're all bent that way, so maybe it is on purpose. I'm not going to quite hold it against them. Um, up in here, and again, you're getting really kind of edgy here, but there's there's no texture here at all. So do you see right in there? There's there's no texture. This bell, unlike... Now, see, this, this is also weird when they do different things. Do you see how the bell here has a lip, right? And maybe because it's higher, they decided to do that, whereas before they didn't. And then this guy... 
and his bell does not have a lip. This reminds me of uh, uh, Awaken Realms when they had the tree rings and some were nice and some weren't. Like, why, why would you do a bell two different ways? Do the bell the same way. That's so weird. Like, why would you do it the bad way there and the good way here? I like that there's that little bit of a lip. Helps a lot there. Um, the face is freaky, like beyond anything. The assembly here is actually quite good. Um, this, once you prime it and paint, that won't show up at all. Um, so really impressed with the, the assembly there. Like that's, that's right front and center and it actually looks pretty darn good. And that's because again, you can't have this negative space here. So these two s spots here and here had to come off. And again, you could put it in the freezer and this super glue right there would focus. This super glue right here would just break right off and you'd be able to have access to the entire inside. Um, pretty easily. Love the little hat, by the way. I'm glad he's very stylish. <laughs> And the overhang's cool too. And then they hollow it out just a little bit, just so it's a little bit lighter. It's not quite so heavy, uh, though he's still pretty heavy. And now, for the final one in the core box, the boss. Now, I'm going to have to zoom out a little bit more here for him. And again, he is huge, right? I mean, if I, I, looking at the size difference, it's, it's impressive, right? Um, it is kind of... Interesting that they put him on a pedestal like that because it's not an action pose at all, right? He's just kind of standing there. Um, but the size, I think, is still nice. They did a great job capturing it, though. Again, in the video game, all this hair is moving around constantly. They have, like, its own kind of um, effects on how it, like, shifts and all that. But the different furs that you have here, right? You have this kind of fur here. You have this kind here. And then you have this kind here. And I like seeing all three. And I like seeing how different they are. I think that's quite nice. Um... Again, the claws, I think, actually look pretty good here. I do like the overhang. Um, I think it's cool that he's based like that, too. He'd make a great statue, if nothing else, right? I think that'd look cool. Uh, the horn uh, texture is also quite nice. A nice definition there. Uh, eyes look good. Nose, teeth is good. Um, the tongue is there. Let's see if there's any... Uh, there is a, a little bit of texture in the mouth as well, which is nice. Ribs look good. Yeah, he's cool. I like him. Uh, the, the, the bottom here with the rubble and stuff, all that looks good as well. Okay, that is it for the core box. Uh, let's go ahead and, uh, jump to another box. Now, actually, before we go real quick, I did want to look at this because this is actually really nice. So, what I, from what I can tell, where's my pokey stick? From what I can tell, these are a save spot, right? You got player one, two, three, and four, which is awesome. I love that. I love the fact that you have these kind of... Token trace here. I think that's really cool. Looks like everything's fairly flush and kind of nice there, especially because the miniatures didn't go on top of this. Um, I love the fact that there's a player aid here. We're going to go ahead and open up some of these cards just a little bit. Take a look. See what's there. See what's up. Move it to the side just a little bit. These are the longest cards by, by uh, a fair margin. Now, um, I know that there are... A lot more cards like this in different shapes and sizes. I'm not going to open all the cards or anything like that. Not even in this core box, nonetheless, in the, the uh, upcoming ones. I'm just going to, uh, uh, you know, at least do one of each size so we can kind of see how the thickness uh, handles, if that makes sense. And, and then also just kind of take a look at print quality in general. There's that. Um, so you get four player aids. That's nice. Um, this actually is quite good. A little bit thicker than I was anticipating. Um, a very plasticky feel to it. Very shiny, as you can see. Um, it, it does do a fair bit of reflecting, but honestly, it's not that bad. Um, it, it, it just seems pretty good to me. Uh, I can easily read everything, which is great. There's still no block. <laughs> Apparently, you can't block. I don't know what block is now, <laughs> because all you can do is dodge. <laughs> <laughs> maybe uh, maybe we should go back and read it. And Gloucester says, "Block." There is no block. <laughs> uh, your actions around summary hunter's dream, attacking and reward cards. So that's cool. Let's take a quick look at the other cards. See what what kind of stuff is here. Oh, these are different uh, enemies. So you can see the enemies in the art form, which is cool. I dig that. That's neat. Some of the NPCs even. And that's that. And there's a front and back to everything. So put those back in here. And again, I don't know what would go underneath there per se, because there's nothing there right now. Uh, let's take a look at some uh, consumables. That'd be kind of fun, right? I couldn't think of anything more fun, actually, than looking at some consumables. <laughs> uh, we're just trying to look at a small card. That's really all. That's really my goal here. 
All right, let's see. I do like the black, by the way, and I do like those numbers there um, listed on there. That's Again, it is nice. And I, I saw Ankh is going to have something similar, so that's good, too. I did not back Ankh, so and I doubt Kaman's going to be sending me a copy, so you will not see that on this channel. I do apologize, but I just didn't. I don't like player elimination of any kind, generally, and so um, when it had that, I was kind of okay not having it. Um, yeah, no, these, I mean, that actually looks kind of, <laughs> looks a little weird. Oh, well, it's trippy. Um, but no, this, this looks good. I'm recognizing everything from a game, which is great. Uh, they, they all look like they should, uh, which is nice. And, and again, uh, the smaller you get, actually, the more sturdy it is. So these are actually quite, they, they feel pretty good. Uh, the normal Zombicide, right? If you've had Zombicide, you've had this. That's good. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the monster cards here. That way we're not going to look at some of the story stuff. We'll keep that for our individual play sessions. How about that? That way I'm not spoiling it for you or me. But we'll take a look at some boss stuff. Phase 2. Out of how many phases, I wonder. I think every single game nowadays has to have some kind of like boss fight mechanic. That seems to be all the rage. You know, even in... uh. Massive Darkness 2, right? They added uh, bosses and a boss room and special mechanics around and stuff like that. So, I don't know. It's, it's kind of cool, I guess. Um, I do get a little tired, a little bit of AI, right? Because AI is really just a random card that does certain things. It's not like it's super advanced. <laughs> so, it's probably just a phase one and phase two. So, let's say that's what each thing gets here. Um, that's cool. So, there's four bosses, uh, which is nice. And then we got some weapons here. Which will definitely help you in your painting, I feel, because you'll be able to see everything, like what the cannon looks like, and the hunter blunderbuss, and the flame sprayer. And again, there's a little bit of a uh, uh, glare on there, so I apologize for that. But uh, yeah, no, this is great. That's cool. I like seeing all that. And I bet this is the, um, oh, it's just a, like an exhausted version, so it's no color. Interesting. And again, like, very solid. So, cards are really nice, actually. I like those. All right, so that is it for the card box. Now, let's go look at the other boxes. All right, next up we have <laughs> the smallest one. Let's take a look at the Hunter's Dream Extras. And by the way, just so you can, just so you can see that. That reflection there. I think that's pretty cool. I like it. I like it. All right. I think this is just going to be some minis here, but we'll, we'll double check, but I bet it's just going to be an open, oh look there's minis, and then we're going to go take a look at it. So I will say I like that it opens like this, and it's not one of those packs you got to like stick your finger in. I do appreciate that. And then yes, yeah, so we got some, oh, actually quite a bit of cards, and then some minis. So we'll take a look at that here in a moment. I want to combine a few of these. These are tiny. So let's see, what else are we going to open with this? We'll take a look at that. We'll take a look at that. Uh, let's look at the uh, Forsaken Canehurst extras, castle extras. I think, if I recall correctly, what happened here is they started adding like stretch goals to specific expansions or parts of the game. And so it's like you got that if you got that part of it, which is kind of odd. Now, another odd thing about this, and I don't know why it was decided, but this is the only box like this. None of the other boxes look like this. And that actually does really bother me. Um, every single other one has the, you know, full on art treatment, linen finish, all of that. And then this single box here is just a cardboard box with printed on it. Now, I'm not saying it looks bad, but it looks awkward when every single other thing they made uh, is different. So that's a little weird. <laughs> okay, so um, again, it's one of those things where even though they know they're going to ship it in a big box, um, you have this, right? And because this is here, you have that, which is awesome. So, you know, it, it's one of those, I get, I get wanting to keep it in one thing. Um, and I get that you want to use the same packaging for retail as you do Kickstarter. Um, but at the end of the day, that's really silly. <laughs> um, ideally, ideally there's a spot where I can, you know, put him in maybe in the Canehurst ca 
castle box so that the single miniature extra has a spot in there. That'd be nice. I don't have to keep this box. That also looks different than anything else, but I guess we'll see. We'll look at that later too. Um, let's go ahead and combine those. Actually, you know what? No, let's go ahead and unbox those because the other ones I think are kind of more official. So we'll look into that and then I'll catch you right back here. All right, next up we have these two little box expansions. Let's go ahead and actually let's look at this one first just because it was so tiny. So all this is is another character or another uh, weapon. This is the uh, Rider Spalosh. I've never had to say these out loud, so forgive me. <laughs> and then there's the Hunter Pistol that you get with it. And then the single mini. Again, hopefully this I can fit in this somewhere else. You get rid of this silly box. Let's take a look at the mini at least, I suppose. <laughs> Though this is <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> just the size is so funny. All this work just for this many. Um, and, and it didn't even have to be like a full box. Like, <laughs> I guess technically it had to be a sliver. Like, all you really needed is like, you know how like, you get Hot Wheels and it's like the cardboard and then the wheel at the end? So all you'd really have to do is have this card, right? <laughs> Like this, and then a mini right here. So there's a little pack right here, not this technically whole big box. So, I mean, even even if you wanted to ship them both this, in the same box or in the same way or you know whatever, um, <laughs> it's just I don't know. It's funny. It, I, in my opinion, it'd be better as two pieces, right? And so you had the miniature, and then you had the uh, the the board tray, and the, the the tray could just like sit on top of a, a box. Right, it doesn't have to really do anything. It does have the locking uh, tray here, which is nice. I guess for the single mini. <laughs> so stupid. All right, all right. Let's zoom in. Let's take a look at what we got here. All right, and this is a cool mini. So I will give them that. Like it's is super cool. I love the mask. Love the flow of it. Um, actually, this whole stance is a little bit nicer. I do appreciate that. A little scuff mark here that you see sometimes. It's kind of funny. Um, but there's not really a lot to say about this. Um, I love the, the chain here. I think that looks cool. Love that it kind of goes all the way around. And then that chain there looks cool. Um, I love this part here. Uh, whatever these are called. I'm not even pretending to know. And even this chain here. I mean, even these tiny little details actually ended up pretty darn good. A little bit of a bend here, but nothing too bad, right? It's pretty good, I think. All right, let's get to the other one. All right, next one is the Hunter's Dream Extras. Go ahead and take a look at that. This is obviously meant for retail because it's packed a bit nicer. We've got uh, several different cards here. A repeating pistol, which is exciting. That's fun. Uh, some mini boss spawn cards for all these mini bosses. And some mini bosses. Let's see how we open this up. <laughs> this is actually a fun little box. <laughs> They're so tiny. Uh, probably still taped though, yeah? Oh, oh dear. Man, I hate this tape. I do hate this tape. There we go. All right, I think we're good. I think it's just the two. All right. Look at the blade on him. That is fun. Again, you get those little tiny runes in there. Um, very kind of bendy. You know, it's just kind of plain plastic. There's no ABS of any kind, which again is very much behind the times for miniatures. I've yet to see really uh, any ABS and. You know, I've unboxed plenty of games now with ABS in them that uh, come on tends to just want flexible stuff like this going on. Uh, the chainmail here actually looks quite good. I really like that. Uh, in fact, even the detail on here looks nice. I like the hand. Even that looks good. All of his fingers are there. Uh, the thinness thinness of the hat brim is quite good. A little clean up there, but nothing too bad. Um... Yeah, no, he's cool. This kind of plank stuff, it, it's cool, but as, as you can see, it gets a little, uh, oh, uh, muddy here, right? A little soft, where you, like, you hear that, and then you don't really hear that, because it's not really doing anything there. But, uh, he's cool. I like him. All right, let's take a look at the, uh, sledgehammer guy. Oh, this is Pyramid Head. That's what, <laughs> that's what this guy is. I dig it. <laughs> 
Uh, so he's got the very point. I don't even know how the hood works like that. And of course, it's completely flat in there, right? There's nothing in there. and they, But it does get a little bit of a lip, so I do appreciate that. That's nice. The hammer itself, it does have some runes, which you can see right there. They are very faint, um, especially like right here. Like right here, you can hear that. And then right here, not as much. It gets a little faint here. Um, like this crack here is good. If the runes were as thick as this, or as deep as this crack, that'd be great. I don't know if this will actually show up on a wash. It's kind of iffy. Very fine detail. Like, see that? That's texture. This is, this is an impression. This is a hint, a suggestion of, <laughs> of texture. It's also kind of weird. I don't know. Was it always like, oh yeah, because it, you know, it would transform and move down. I was like, oh, would it always have that? But. Um, you know, no real texture here, but I think that's okay based off of the, uh, the, the rest of the thing. I, I think it's supposed to be that way, but it's kind of, kind of iffy because sometimes it just don't do texture like right here. It's just a super thick, uh, this is the tail of Pikachu. I don't know if Pikachu was in Bloodborne, but here's his tail. So we found that. <laughs> like, what is that? Look how thick that is. Super thick. Like it goes skinny here and then it's like, <laughs> it's all fat. What the heck is going on here? And of course, like you actually kind of see that from the side. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I, I, I know. Come on, can do better. Come on, has done better. Uh, they're just not really trying as much as they they definitely could. Okay. Uh, this is fun. I like this. There's no texture here, like at all. Um, but the design is super cool. Um, I love the hat and everything like that. The blade, um, pretty much just like you can see that it cuts through here. But there's like. A tiny, tiny bit. It gets super skinny, and then it gets super fat here because they have to fill in the gap. So, <laughs> so you get to both extremes. You get the super fat because they won't ever make this two pieces. They'll just put everything and squish it together um, to make it as cheap as possible. So it's single cast. So they'll fill it in here, and then they'll <laughs> they won't even like keep that same thickness. I think it's super thin here. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh man, yes, he's. So, yeah, it just, I don't know. It's unfortunate. It's whatever. Still a cool design, though. I actually like him. Uh, he's he's pretty cool. But, man, that blade. I'll tell you what. All right, another one with a mask kind of like this, which is cool. This is, uh, this is actually the exact same miniature. Hold on a second. Seriously? We just had to have a color change. Is that it? Could even model it in a different pose. It's literally just good guy versus bad guy. Uh, gray versus an ugly tan. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm not even going to cheat that because we already looked at it. In this stupid size box. All right. Now, this is a weapon I never used because I thought it looked stupid, but I also appreciate that it exists. Um, this is the like wheel weapon and it's super cool. I mean, look at that. That being said, there is flash on every single spoke. Um, so have fun cleaning that up if you decide to torture yourself with that. Um, wow, that is impressive. The amount of flash on all of those. Wow. Uh, texture wise, it's actually fairly cool. I don't, I don't, again, I never used it. So I don't know if this texture is normal on the side here or not. It seems very plain, but maybe it's supposed to be that way. I don't know. Love the mask, though. That's super cool. And that turned out pretty good. Uh, the hand turned out pretty good as well, too. Uh, this little miniature, I think, is actually fairly cool. Minus this, which I don't think it looks good. Even if that's the design, it just seems really lackluster. I don't know. It just it, it seems odd to me. But the rest of the mini, I think him, he looks cool. This weapon is still kind of dumb. <laughs> Sorry if that was your favorite. Okay, and then we got this one as well. Again, another interesting weapon that I don't think we got otherwise. And uh, yeah, again, very cool design. Uh, very much like the um, main character, I think, design-wise. Except he's got a little foofy thing. I do love these gaps that you see here, though. Like, there's some nice uh, depth to these miniatures. It's actually kind of impressive. Like, that looks nice. And finally, we have this one here, which again is kind of cool. I like that it goes off the edge of the base there. And the gun actually, I think, is nicely designed as well, which is good. Uh, oh, and we got the Lugwoods blade here too. So this is the blade out instead of in. So that's cool. I like that. Um, 
Super nice. Yeah, no, that's cool. So that's the, the I didn't rarely use this unless there was a really fast one. And it was still good too, but I almost always had it in its sheath, which is great. All right, that is it for them. That's all of these minis. Let's go into the next box. Oh, uh, but before I go, can I just comment that Kamon needs to start doing texture on their bases. Again, they're falling behind there as well. Um, compared to what Awaken Realms and Solomon Kane and even Monolith and many others are doing, um, this kind of plain basing is not cutting it for very much longer. Uh, just an FYI, come on. All right, next we have Murgo's Loft is the next lucky winner. Uh, this has a really cool mini, really, really, really cool mini. It's, uh, it, it, uh, I don't, what, what, can I spoil the game? Can we do that? Um, either way, one of the final areas you go to. I'll just word it that way. Um, and uh, definitely a, a harder one just to get to the top. And once you get to the top, then you have a, a lovely fight with a, a lovely, uh, lovely enemy. Um, there is a cool part here that I don't know if they included her or not. You can see, no, they didn't. Um, so she's like all dressed in white and you go up there and you can, you can attack her, you can not. Uh, you get a nice big old custom tile here. Uh, which is cool. It's double-sided. I'm assuming you use both. Um, definitely, you know, divvied up into a whole bunch of different areas here. Uh, and bigger than all the others, too. Uh, that being said, oh, I don't remember if the other one was linen or not, but that's definitely not. It's very, very much not linen. Okay. And then, of course, we have the box itself. Cards falling out. Big old stack of cards. And then some more cards, but not a big old stack. And then some minis. And we'll look at that uh, right now. All right, next up we have Murgo's Loft. Let's take a look at this one. Come on, it'll come off. Oh my gosh, all right. And we made it. Skip all this, this is all dumb stuff. Let's look at the base, look at that! Oh my gosh, all right. I'm excited. I'm excited. I thought this was a cool uh, enemy, even within the game itself, like I thought this was a cool enemy, so. I'm kind of excited to uh, to see this one. I did not realize the scale, by the way, that it was so small. I really didn't realize there were tiny guys. I don't like any tiny people. I like it all. It's not enjoyable. The bigger, the better, in my opinion. Look at all those cards. <laughs> Ton of cards. All right. Moving right along. Let's look at the tiny guys first, I suppose. I suppose. You got to zoom way in because they're so tiny. There we go. <laughs> look at that face. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I will say, even at this tiny, tiny scale, the chains are actually pretty darn good. Like, that looks cool. I like how those chains ended up. It's like I can't even focus on that little guy. Um, so that's super cool. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to zoom out a little bit. It's too close. <laughs> There we go. Um, I remember these guys were actually really annoying in the game. Um, like I, I think I, I didn't die from them, but they were in like a wide open kind of area within the uh, the building itself, and there was all these other powerful guys that these guys just annoyed me. Um, the feet are actually fairly okay. This one's a little soft. Uh, Chainmail looks good. I actually really like their armor. Uh, the kind of jester stuff's kind of cool too, but <laughs> those eyes are hilarious. <laughs> Are they all like that? Let me see. <laughs> Be great if they're all like that. Uh, yes, they are all kind of not exactly symmetrical, <laughs> which is perfect. <laughs> all right. <laughs> we only got another kind of enemy and then the boss. So we got this this one here. These were in the same area too. That's right. And these guys were like, they took some hits. Uh, they were quite tough, I remember. And they had some uh, like good lunge kind of attacks here. This is a, a, a hilariously fat in a ridiculous way i get that they had a big weapon i have some like tape on me this is just like it doesn't look right to me to be that thick um it goes to a nice point which is nice but that looks like banana blades right like that looks too much in my opinion um the chain looks good i actually really like the chain i think that turned out well in fact all the chain mail came out exquisite like beautiful chain mail i love that chain mail that looks great. Again, I don't know why you get that like white there. It's like it's been scuffed or something. I don't understand that, but you see that every now and then. Um, good assembly. The mask is freaky, and I actually like that. 
Uh, these are cool. I actually really like how these look. I like the um kind of the, the, the tattered layered look here too. Um, overall, I actually really, I like this more than I probably should. And now, finally, zoom out a little bit more on her. There we go. Here's the wet nurse. Uh, this is, I think, the uh, the the winner in this in this uh, whole whole game here. Uh, this just looks incredible. The the medallion here, the awesome kind of hood thing going on here. All the different arms. Uh, it looks like it was assembled well. Um, the texture here is awesome. The uh, texture on the back again also looks quite quite good. Um, so liking all of that. Um, definitely different kinds of texture. Uh, she would just blink in and out of existence and all that and slice you up with all of her swords and do all sorts of crazy stuff. Um, that being said, look how bent this is. Um, it's supposed to be straight like this, but because, again, they're not using ABS, and uh, in fact, I would suspect they're not even using ABS in it. It's just pure PVC. It's as cheap as you can get uh, uh, plastic-wise. Um, although, I mean, not all PVC is even a created equal, so you can get even cheaper, but that's going to need some hot water treatment to fix that, which is unfortunate. Um, it looks like there's a little bit of a bend here, perhaps, too. And, but I imagine a lot of them could use a little bit of touching up. But, uh, yeah, overall, quite happy with this. Um, fairly, the assembly's fine, too. I'm okay with it. Just a cool, cool mini, though. I mean, you got to admit, I love the outstretched arms as well. And then these are coming out of, like, the freaking armpit. It's just disgusting and weird and cool. All at the same time. I like this one a lot. All right, well, that's it for that one, so let's jump into another one. All right, we're back at it. We have Burgwind in order, or third bur, bur, whatever this place is. A bur, Birgenworth. Birgenworth. That doesn't sound scary at all. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. I don't know why they do these things to me. Probably a real place knowing my luck, and you guys are going to be like, uh, I live there. Um, hopefully you don't live here. That'd be bad. All right, get that out of the way. Oh, and by the way, on the back it shows you again, and all of them are like this, so I'm not going to show each one. But again, it's like the same thing where it's very retail driven, right? This is obviously something you could go eventually buy a retail. It tells you what it's getting, what it expands, what it does, what's included. It has a list of components there, all that, which is really nice. Go and take a look. And there we are. And we get the same kind of double-sided token. This is where you fight the weirdest looking spider I think you'll ever see. Uh, it is not this, uh, a typical spider, which you'll see when we unbox this fully if you haven't played the game. Though, I'd be interested to know, are any of you, did any of you guys back this and not play the game? Uh, did it cause you to want to play the video game? I, I would honestly be curious about that. I had obviously played the video game, but um, I think most of us probably have, but... Maybe there were people that just thought it was a cool game because it is does look a cool board game. Anyway, you got the, the different cards here. And this one is a little different in that you get a little cardboard here. So let's go ahead and pop that out just to open it up and see what what's going on there. Make sure I'm looking at everything. I don't know why this one's different. Um, they seem to not be consistent, you know, with the, the white box and now this. But whatever. Um, oh, maybe because they didn't want to pay for a lid. <laughs> so you got a big card here that was loose that should have been right there and then of course all of the minis are these snap in no they're not which is why they're falling out okay anyway we'll look at these uh so i'll catch you over there next up we have burger worth we have that that word let's go <laughs> i don't even know what that is beer bergen bergen worth sound like a Oh, what's the the chef from the Muppets? <laughs> that, that's what that, again, I don't know why this has a cardboard box. I don't know. I don't like it though. It's weird. Don't be different. Come on, come on. Don't be like that. It's because they don't want to put a lid on it. That's what it is. It's just to save a lid. The only reason they do it. It's never as good, which is why this is sliding around everywhere. All right. Well, I think yeah. Okay. So we're gonna have to look at perhaps uh. Some of these in a kind of a weird order. Normally you leave the boss for last, but maybe I'll still do that. Um, so yeah, here's a student. <laughs> and these guys were super easy. I uh, grind, grinded, ground. I did my grinding against them. Okay, I'm going to try and word this better. <laughs> 
um, when I when I was grinding in the game, I was fighting these guys uh, because they actually gave pretty good XP at the time for my level. I could kill them on one hit. There was a few that would like drop from the ceiling, but otherwise they were super easy to to kill. I would always get them. Prob I would kill them right around at this pose. They would never even finish that swing. So I, I almost I'm trying to remember if I ever got hit by one of them. Um, maybe my first time through when they would fall from the ceiling and surprise me, but. Otherwise, I would just do a run, and it was a real easy loop, so I actually spent a lot of time against these guys. So this kind of ooze on over there, and they're they pretty easy. We are going to save the boss for last, so I'm going to have to take this, uh, this tray off. Come on. How does this work? Okay. Oh my gosh, these are cool. Look at these guys. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, man. My wife will love this. Oh, no. Snap and trace. Guys, don't do this. Why would you do this? Don't. <sighs> Random snap and trays are not tight. They're the worst. That being said, this, notice the no crinkle, thicker plastic. I don't get why sometimes I, I'm I, actually, I'm, the reason this is thicker plastic is because I had to do the snap in. <laughs> we finally got better plastic, but it's because I had to do the stupid snap in. Um, yeah, so these are the little guys that are added everywhere. Um, they, they, they have eyes all over them. Um, they're disgusting. They have like these weird ridge things going on here. This kind of looks like a face to me. Like there's the eyes and then like the, the mouth and then like the nose right here. <laughs> Do you see that now? <laughs> this is tongue. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, they're, they're weird and gross. And notice these are not legs. These are like weird pincher things. And they have their... One, two, three, four, five legs on each side. So ten legs total. So they're not spiders. Don't worry about it. Okay, one of my least favorite guys. Um, these guys were not fun uh, at all. And they were quite freaky, as you can tell. They actually designed this pretty good. The reason, oh, okay, the reason they did is because these are all connected. Right, so this connects here, which connects here, which connects here, which connects here which then connects here. Um, and what it does is it keeps it nice, and then which then connects here. So it keeps it nice and uh, firm, right? And, and kind of snug. So they're, they're kind of, they're, I mean, they're kind of like wings, right? But uh, in a very cool, cool way and quite sturdy, actually. Then you do have wings up here and then they're crazy, icky, gross, nasty. What is this? What the heck happened? <sighs> You know, I was starting to say so many nice things. Um, this is flat here too, by the way, and kind of on display. And they are split down the exact middle all the way freaking down. Why? Why would you do that? So you could get it into two pieces? Uh, is there any that are good? No. Look, look at the gap on that one. Oh dear lord, that's terrible. Ooh. Come on, there's got to be one good one. At least the chest on that one's glued, and his head's just freaking split open. Okay, you know, this is... <sighs> okay, be calm. This is annoying when they do stuff like this. So they wanted it to be this shape, but they wanted it to do it in as few pieces as possible. So instead of doing more than two pieces, they literally just cut it in half. That was their solution to how they could get the pull direction is just split it in half. So you have a flat end on both sides, right? So you don't have this in between here, right? Because then it's just flat and flat. That was their solution. And, and look what it gave you. Lovely, lovely, great. Great, I, I can literally stick this in there. Look, look, that's stupid. That is so, so upsetting that they would do that. I just don't... How is this better? How is this worth it? How is this good at all? Look at that! Oh my gosh. This has to be the worst miniature I've gotten from Come On ever. So congrats, Come On, you're going backwards. Uh, hate was your pinnacle, and ever since then you've been getting crappier and crappier in your minis, and meanwhile your competitors pass you up and offer better things for cheaper, and this is ridiculous. Um, that is not okay. Like, 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 like even when it's glued, it's not really okay, right? Because it's still, I mean, it just... Ugh, okay, well... I guess we still need to look at the boss, so let's go ahead and look at that. Gosh dang it, I swear, I don't... 
I get that they think they don't have to try because they're just gonna make a bunch of money on on uh, retail by people who aren't aren't painters or don't care or, or whatever. I I don't know. Um, I don't know how to fit this back in there, but uh, it's really frustrating. It's definitely not the great Kickstarter feel that you get when you get that new you know game that you backed years ago and you paid all this money for and you get it and it's so amazing and cool. Instead, it's filled with some okay and a lot of disappointment, and that's really kind of frustrating. This dude is heavy. Oh my gosh. Okay, so uh, this is exactly how I remember it. This was... I did die to him once, um, but it was just once. Otherwise, he was super easy the second time. Actually, it was still a little stressful because of all the ads. That was still annoying. But for the most part, um, it wasn't a boss I had to think a lot on. I just kind of charged and just out DPSed him more or less. Um, yeah, gross mouth. A ton of eyes everywhere. Disgusting whatever the heck this junk is. Disgusting whatever the heck this junk is. Disgusting here. Disgusting here. Um, this whole guy is gross. Again, it is unfortunate it's on this like super flat base with no kind of detail or anything like that, but um, no, this is still really, really good. Um, it pretty much captures him entirely, and I think they did a good job with the separators, kind of putting it in places that are fairly easy to gap fill. You have to gap fill. You're not going to... Don't don't paint it with a big gap like that, but it, it's okay. I mean, it's not too bad. He's heavy. He's very heavy. All right. Well, hopefully the other expansions are better than this. Let's go ahead and find out. All right, next up we have Upper Cathedral Ward. Uh, this was fun. This was uh, the one that had the uh, the students in it. Um, I found this area to actually be very easy. Um, I actually farmed here for a while in the game just because I could. I had a really good run, and uh, again, these guys were. I could kill them in one hit. And, uh, you know, so I would just kind of do the power attack and hit him, and I'd never get hurt, really, and it was it was pretty easy. Did that for probably an hour. I don't, I don't know if it was too long, per se. You don't necessarily have to grind, but um, you certainly can. And uh, and I did, because it was pretty good XP at the time, too. It was a new area. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, the, for whatever reason, this was probably one of the easiest spots for me uh, in the whole game. So... Anyway, uh, here again, so very common, what all of these are by the looks of it, is you kind of have a map, and then you have the boss room. And so that's kind of what's going on here, same thing, uh, you get that. This looks, by the way, yes, do you, <laughs> do you see that? Uh, that is bent, that is not straight. That being said, you have a big tower of things, so what you want to do is you want to take all of these out, you want to put all the boxes on top of it, you want to leave it for a month. Now, I don't know how long you have to leave it for, maybe you can almost just like, kind of kind of push and and prod a little bit, but uh, yeah, that's, that's not straight. <laughs> so that is unfortunate. Hmm. Oh well. Okay, and again, we don't have the cardboard this time, so it's different. Um, but same thing: cards, 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 big mini, and then a whole bunch of little ones. Uh, that's pretty much what all of these are, and they're all based off of an area in the video game. Um, I'm gonna flip it this way, upside down, just to. Make me feel a little bit better about it. Maybe it'll start to start to correct itself. Hopefully it will. I'll let you know in the review. I'll let you know. I'll let you guys know. All right, let's go ahead and take a look into that, and then we'll get into this next one. All right, will the Upper Cathedral Ward be better than the last one? God, I only hope so. Let's see. Let's find out. Let's take a look. <laughs> it looks cool. I can tell you that much. Come on. Take this out for the. The, uh, the tape anyway. Oh, look at that. That's... Gosh dang it. Why can't I win? <laughs> you know, if, you, if if it wasn't so cheaply skinny, it would hold up. Oh, dear lord. The tape is stronger than the freaking plastic. Oh, come on how you have fallen in quality. Like, what the heck is going on here? Come on, this is, this is lovely. This is great. Do you guys remember when Kamon was called Cool Mini or Not and they focused on like really quality minis and, and, and you know, really stood by their, their game quality and, and uh, components and it was just a joy to get and they were always so well put together and you know, whether you liked the game or not, at least component wise, in fact they were always made jokes about how it was overproduced and the, 
the quality of the minis and stuff outweighed the quality of the game. And and now, I mean, hopefully at least they've swapped and had the game higher quality because I know the minis have taken a downturn and the, the, the trays and all sorts of other crap. All right, these guys. Um, I actually liked these guys because they're, you know, they're little mushroom dudes. <laughs> um, there's not a lot to say about them except they have too many fingers. I did not notice that. See, in the game, it's all it's normally dark. Things are moving a lot. There's a lot of motion blur too. You just don't really get to see them super well, right? So when you see, you're like, oh, I didn't realize they had that many fingers. That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, detail wise on the muscles of what few it has is actually pretty darn good the face is interesting uh it doesn't really seem to i mean it's again it's a weird mushroom thing so i don't know what its face is supposed to look like i guess uh the feet are okay not really um especially this one right here this it just looks stubs right there's not really a whole lot going on there um but you know it's a basic mini Let's go ahead and look at a slightly not less basic mini. Uh, so yeah, this is a whole tentacle coming out of the head thing, um, a la Resident Evil 4 kind of style thing. Uh, love the fingers, actually. Though, and I don't know if this was always the case, but these fingers are way longer than these fingers. Like, is that on purpose? or <laughs> like, Hopefully it is, because this looks normal. This is not normal. Um, I like the robe that he's wearing. I like how tattered it is and everything. Um, and it looks like, are those little eyes? I, I think they are. That's cool too. I'm okay with this guy. And then we have the boss. And oh my gosh, would you look at that? Ah, man, he's like right up in your face. Hold on, let me zoom out a little bit. This guy's big. There we go. Get some distance. Okay. Um, he is the biggest miniature by far. Um, he is huge. Um, love the, uh, like, weird snail slug things with great texture all the way up to there. Um, I don't recall, I see that again, I don't know, is this hair? It looks like hair, but then it's, like, rounded at the bottom, so maybe not. Sometimes it's kind of hard to know what it is you're even looking at. <laughs> you have to look at the, well, I would say you'd have to look at the art, but, yeah, I mean, it's, again, the art is only, like, part of them anyway, right? So it's kind of hard to tell. Uh, the wings here. Uh, have flash along every single freaking edge. Oh my gosh, why? Why, 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 why? Uh, before I get to that, this looks cool. It was assembled well. I like the kind of cage little area thing here. Love the like weird pustule things. Um, the line here is much better than the other one. It's still unfortunate that you're doing that, but it's much better than um, the, the other guys I saw in the last box, so that's good. Texture in here is nice too. I actually like that. I think it looks good. Um, so I like all of that. Um, there's two lines here, but again, that's actually fairly good. Um, the nasty teeth and stuff here look awesome. The hand looks cool. Um, it's a little softer here for my taste, but uh, on this side, it actually looks fairly good. Maybe a little bit right, right there, but otherwise, uh, yeah, weird tentacle hand things look good. Whatever the heck's going on here looks great as well. I mean, none of this looks great, but um, then you get to this, and I don't know if you can see or not, but the flash is not only insane, um, not only is it irregular, but it is across the entire thing. This whole thing is like nothing but flash, and that is so, so disappointing to see because this would look great otherwise, but I don't... I do not want to paint flash, especially if it's like, like, like you see how like it gets caught there, right? It's cause there's a little, do you see that? There's a little like lip right there, right? Just like there's some stuff right here and stuff right here and a whole line right there and a line everywhere. And this entire thing, even all the way down here, this is not only the most flash ever, but look what it's on. That is so disappointing. Why? Come on. Are you messing up so much? This is, this would have been a highly praised, I mean, the flash is crazy on this. Look at the flash here. I don't know if they changed manufacturers. I don't know if they stopped paying their manufacturers. So the manufacturer just hates them. I don't, I don't know what's going on, but that is an insane amount of flash. More than I have ever seen on a Come On Mini. Um, or, or, or most minis, to be honest. That's bad. Like, that's just not good, kind of, regardless. <laughs> that's just bad. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, I'm about, I'm about you stay in there. Okay, be careful putting that in. <laughs> All right, let's check out another box and see what upsets me next.
And next one's up. We have Yargle's Unseen Village. Um, this was an interesting one because there was, um, I remember stumbling across this area. Um, I think you're like, like you're like swatted there or thrown there by like some weird like elder god thing going on. Uh, sorry, a little bit of spoilers there. And, uh, uh, and I was like, oh, this is a cool zone. I liked it. It was kind of outside. It was actually, there was actually like some sunlight. Seemed kind of nice. And then this guy with like a freaking chain Gatling gun just like mows me freaking down. Did not like that guy. Um, but you can also push him off his ledge. So that's cool too. Uh, anyway, so uh, yeah, again, same back, same front, all that. All these require the core box, of course. Uh, we have one more of these and then we're getting into the big boxes here. So uh, same thing, I bet. Yargle. And then, yep, and then we have a kind of a, a big area to fight a boss. So we got kind of both of those here. Um, and I didn't see the other hunter, so I'm assuming he's not in this box anyway. And then we have big cards, medium-sized cards, little-sized cards, in that order. Always, always, always. These are very... It, it bothers me that the other one... Why did the other one not have a lid? Why do all of these have lids and the other one doesn't? I don't understand. I don't get it. I don't, it bothers, it, crap like that bothers me. Why, why did, why do I have all this stuff and one's just an oddball kooky one? I don't know. Let's take a look at these minis. I'm excited to look at these uh, because they have some skulls that are really, really cool. Um, did not like them in the game, but I think I'm gonna like the mini. All right, let's dive into the Yargle Unseen Village. Let's see what's in here. Uh, up close. Right, that's the important part. We already kind of glanced at everything, but now we gotta actually like look at everything. So, okay, come on, come on. Now this one I'm hopeful for. As you know, the last few ones have been slightly disappointing um, in the fact that I've been thoroughly upset at Kamon for being cheapskates and really uh, lackluster uh, to the point where um, I'll be thinking otherwise the next time I am tempted to spend 300 plus dollars on one of the Kickstarters. Um, because I have spent 300 plus dollars on other Kickstarters, as you guys know, I cover that each month, um, and gotten better quality components just in general. It does not help that I've recently unboxed all McCain and Oko and all these other games with such great components, but oh my goodness. Okay. Well, let's start with this because I'm actually excited for this one. And actually, for, right off the bat, I feel like this is probably the best mini out of the that I've seen so far, but let's let's... Let's double check that. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, I'm not really seeing any soft details in the skulls. The skulls look quite good pretty much everywhere at every angle. Same with the rib cages, those are actually looking good. The fingers are all there, nice and skinny. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're not separated, but that's okay. Um, yeah, I, I'm actually liking pretty much all of this. The wood grain texture on here looks good. Oh, okay. So this is just, I don't know what, what's supposed to be in here, in inside the, the box, but preferably something not flat with a big cap around it. I might stick some texture uh, paint in there. That might work pretty well. Um, but outside of paint, that, that's a little unfortunate. But the rest of this um, is actually great. Like it's got a great texture to it. Uh, these skulls are really popping out, right? They're not just like a, a, a texture of, um, and like some of them are like whole people. See, like this, like that's cool. I dig that. Um, and this guy here, oh yeah, this is so far my favorite mini. And look, it's like it's like set up back here, but the center of gravity is like still in the middle, and it just it's cool. I like those a lot. Finally, let's see if we can keep that train going. Um, this guy, again, super large. There's a lot of large enemies that are still humans in the game. I don't know why that's a thing, but it is. Um, that being said, I think the facial details here look great, actually. Like, really good. Even has, like, the kind of double chin thing going on there. Same with the um, uh, the chest and even the necklace and stuff like that. Um, this is actually nice and curved in. So far, this is the best expansion yet. So if you guys are watching this and you didn't back here looking at retail... This is looking pretty good component-wise so far. Um, some nice separation here. The sack is good. Uh, <laughs> that sounds so weird. There, I could use a little bit more separation here. You see how muddy and soft that gets here? This is technically a separate piece, but unless you paint that detail in, you're going to look at this and almost view it as just all one thing. 
right? And so that's like it looks as, as different as this, but it's not. It should be more different. Ooh, I'll drop him. Um, that being said, give this guy a pass. He looks great. I like him. And now the boss, because you the boss in each one. And again, this is looking better. It's looking better. Let's zoom out a little bit. All right, take a look at him. Oh man, L look at the like the texture inside of the the bone here, and and like all the feet and stuff. That's freaking gross. Um, oh, this is actually pretty darn good so far. Anyway, um, the the bones here are kind of kind of soft, right? Like there's there's definitely some there's not really a lot of hard lines there. I love the skin coming off of that there. Um, yeah, his like arm things come out there. Oh, look at the, the, the shape of that is cool. There's a little bit of texture there. It could use a lot more, but that's okay. Um, all the, the spine coming up is great. All the skulls look good. These, um, rib bones here look good. I don't know what's going on here, but, um, I doubt you probably knew what was going on here in the game as well. <laughs> so, uh, assembly's good. I like the assembly. That's fine. Um, yeah, it could be a little bit better, uh, designed, uh, but, uh, that it actually looks way better from the front because there's that little bit of overhang. Could have implemented a little bit more of an overhang here. That's okay. Moving on up again. This is disgusting and great and awesome. There's like a little fuzz thing in there. Um, this is good. This is good. I love how they're different sizes as well. I love that this is like made of feet for the hands and stuff like that. I think that's awesome. Um, again, when you fight these things in the game, you don't really notice all this per se. Love the guy kind of piloting it all there. I think he looks great as well. Um, and then again, all the skulls and stuff are good. This is, this is nice. This is definitely the best expansion I think that I've unboxed when it comes to just not having anything bad in it, which is, I think, kind of sad. It's like, what's the best one? The one that doesn't suck. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, the other ones are okay. And of course, again, I'll talk about gameplay at the review. But opponent wise, that's what these unboxings are for. And uh, so far it's left me a little wanting, but that's a good one. I, I actually don't mind that one too much at all. So that was the Yargle's Unseen Village. Buy this one more than the others. Show them that uh, um, you know you, you care about the quality of the stuff you buy. This, this is an expensive hobby. We're buying physical stuff, it may as well be good. All right, now we're at the last of the lit little uh, box expansions. This is the Hunter's Dream one. Uh, seems a bit, I don't know, it almost seems lighter, but perhaps not. This is going towards uh, the the end. Uh, so there is that. Uh, not of the video, of the video game. So <laughs> just as an FYI, we're getting there. We're higher level now. We know what we're doing. We got all the items, got them all in storage. Um, I don't know if they ever added the little guys. I forget their 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 term that they are. Um, it's been a long time since I read their wiki. They, you could dress them in like a top hat and stuff like that. I always loved that. You can make them look kind of cute, but they were all always kind of like weird. <laughs> uh, okay, so moving that aside. By the way, all of these minus that one weird white one. Very nice linen finish. Feels good. Uh, this one, this one is different. Look at that. It's different, guys. Uh, this one actually comes with mini bosses, so that's cool. A little bit of rules uh, for the mini boss, and because it's one one page, no index on the one page. <laughs> and again, you have the normal map and then the boss map um, where you're fighting something in a field of white flowers. If that doesn't um, bring back nightmares for you, you never beat the game. <laughs> All right, so and get laid out different too. So we have uh, medium-sized cards, or maybe those are little. Those are little cards, big cards, medium-sized cards. We didn't have the little ones in there because there's guys here. So that's kind of cool, a little different. Uh, yeah, and then obviously there's a big guy right behind here. We'll look at um, in a moment. All right, we're back here and we have Hunter's Dream. Let's go ahead and open this up. See how this looks. Hopefully we have another uh, another one that kind of knocks it out of the park. Uh, again, you know, a little bit of a rule there. Got the, you know, map. You got all the different cards. I'm not going to worry too much about all of that per se. We're going to go ahead and shove that aside. Shove that aside. Get the tape off. Here we are. Tape off here. Come on, come on, let's go, let's go, there we are, okay, <laughs> oh, 
Gosh, the freaking tape is evil. Okay. Oh no. Oh no, there's more. Oh wait, there's more. At least only three. Because this is all empty here. Oh, right. Okay, we got it. Nice. Oh, is it taped? It is taped, just like on the side. Gosh dang it. <laughs> there we go. Okay. We got quite a few small minis here. Uh, this is, I think, uh, just the the alternate version. So we've already seen the other version in that uh, that one expansion, right? This is just kind of so. This is the scythe guy, scythe guy again, but in a different uh, a different pose. I do love his cape, by the way. I think his cape looks great. Um, there's not a whole lot to say. That is a good cape. Not a whole lot to say except that he has a stub leg. Um, if you've played the video game, you now know who this character is based off of that. Um, and again, the scythe. This dude is quick. He is quick. That's all I'm saying there. <laughs> okay, we've seen this weapon like three times now. Here's like the third or fourth time we're seeing this same weapon. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's alright. Okay, moving on from that. <laughs> uh, oh, I like the hair here, actually. I like that the hair's showing. Um, so many, so so many times you're wearing hats. That's nice to have the uh, the hair. See, moving on. This is a cool uh, freaking weapon. That's for sure. That's what that is. And again, I think the gun looks great. Uh, not a whole lot to say here either. I love the scarf. That'd be cool to paint, actually. I'm gonna show off the scarf a little bit, right? Okay, we have this. This was one of the cooler weapons. I ran around with this for like five minutes because I thought it looked cool, but. Uh, at the end of the day, it's it's not my style. Um, definitely a cool design, though. You see how big it is, too. A lot of these little guys here. Okay, here's your typical guy as well. This is just the bad version of it. We've already seen this. Same with the cannon. Same thing. Not going to keep talking about repeat miniatures. Uh, here, we go. let's go to this one. This is different. Uh, I think so, yeah, because he has this... Uh, a hand thing going on now and uh, tentacles lots and lots of tentacles because why the heck not okay let's look at actual new enemies here we got this guy this dude here with his it was a tongue <laughs> i never noticed that uh yeah they're disgusting the texture on the robe here is actually really cool the texture squiggles on there is really cool um overall this is actually a pretty good mini one thing i don't like it's just how, like, again, it just, I would like those popped out a little bit. I like a little bit more animation in my miniatures, preferably. All right, we got this guy here. These were cool, too, um, and I think they look cool as well. Come on, focus. There we go. Now you can see it. Um, the kind of uh, face inside of the stomach thing. It's been done a lot, but it's still creepy. I still like it. I like the um, actual kind of... Uh, uh, well, what a cloth here. I think it just looks cool, especially um, compounded by this, which is all, not nearly as wrinkly. Well, I guess it is in the back. That looks pretty cool there. That looks kind of weird there. <laughs> uh, face looks cool. Weapon is neat. It's very plain, right? A little bit of texture on the wood. And that looks good. Not not as thick as the other one, which is good. This is definitely my limit, though. We're getting pretty thick there at that point. You get two of those guys, and then, of course. You get the boss. Let's zoom out a little bit. <laughs> Look at these things. I mean, he goes way off the base, which is hilarious. <laughs> Love it. Um, yeah, this came out good. I like that. I like the ridges here. I think that look came out pretty good. There's a little bit of mold lines, but it's not too bad. Though it'll be hard to to clean on that texture, but hard to avoid any texture on these kind of. It's kind of minis. Uh, I love that it kind of is open up there, which is great. A little bit of an assembly fill there, but I'm okay with that as well. Um, I think these uh, filled in pretty good here. Uh, yeah, no, they're looking great. I like uh, like pretty much all of them. It gets a little smooth here. A little smooth kind of, just gets smoother kind of out here a little bit. A little smooth here too, um, as compared to like, the texture like that. I don't know if that's on purpose or not. It's kind of hard to tell. Um, when these minis don't make much sense. Uh, the kind of freaky face that it has, I've always actually really liked. I thought it was quite ingenious how they did that and kind of made it kind of creepy. So definitely a cool one, though, again, not fun to fight in the game. 
All right, with that, let's go ahead and get to the next one. All right, now we have the Blood Moon box. Uh, this seems, uh, I don't know. It seems like a uh, Kickstarter exclusive content. So this is the KSEs. So there we go. Not that many. It was a lot of, this is a, definitely a retail game. And I could tell that the moment I opened it, when I touched that cardboard, I was like, this is not premium. This is not premium. This is not a fancy collection version of it. This is a retail game that I shipped to China or from China to me for really expensive pricing. But I did get this box, so there you go. Take that retail, people. <laughs> All right, so uh, again, on the back, a little bit different. Shows, again, big renders here and then a whole bunch of stuff here. It still says you need the core box. Um, and honestly, this is seems a different style. Maybe it's not. So they're all kind of drawn artwork, right? So you get this kind of drawn artwork on it. Um, but this has like this weird, not quite finished look to it. Um, and maybe they did it on purpose for the kind of, it's a Kickstarter exclusive, so it's like behind the scenes stuff. Um, but it does stand out to me. It definitely does not have the same uh, detail level. Like it does here, but then there's like these weird kind of, you can see the sketch marks really easily there and water, I don't know. It, it just looks different. I don't like it. Be consistent. Okay, <laughs> we have right here, nicely framed. Uh, these are kind of the bonus characters and whatnot, and yeah, because this works out well all the time. Um, I wish they didn't do this. I don't know why they do. I think they're trying to be fancy or something. Cover it up. Like I, I don't need this in the middle, sliding around. Just, just put it, the whole thing in there. Um, it's fine. I would have been fine seeing this because then everything just like falls out because it's all open here. So you got the little cards. Medium, big, falling out everywhere because they don't want to put a lid on it to be fancy, I guess. Pop this open just to see what the tray looks like. It's just going to slide around. And as you can see, lots of stuff. Uh, yeah, this looks cool. We're going to definitely look at this. I hate putting these boxes back in. Like, it's like, there we go. Tell you, these kind of boxes that fold in like this, hate them. Never as good. There we are. All right, let's look at those. All right, now we get to dive into the Kickstarter exclusives. There's not very many in this game. It's, this game is definitely meant for retail. You can tell by the crappy component quality of it all uh, <laughs> and the piecemealing out of it all. So you just have all these like small box expansions because that's what retail is all about is kind of piecemealing out the overall cost. But I bought it as a Kickstarter, so we're going to look at some of the Kickstarter stuff. And luckily it is more uh, weapons and stuff, which does give a lot of variety. So I really appreciate that. Um, again, let's see, we got the... Uh, Tonitrus, the Blade of Mercy, Ludwig's Uncanny Holy Blade, the Logarus Wheel, the Kirk Hammer, and the Burial Blade, um, all of those, and I forget if it shows both or not, yeah, so see how it swaps the art, which is kind of nice, so you get to see the difference there, so that's kind of nice that they do that, I think. Again, they don't want to put a lid on the top one, so they're going to do the cardboard, no, this is weird because there is a lid here. So why'd you do the cardboard? I don't know. That's kind of weird. <laughs> Whatever. I don't know anymore. I don't know. Okay. All right. Oh, some of these guys look cool, though. Okay. And all right. Hopefully that's it. Hopefully that's it. Please tell me. Yay. All right. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and uh, get started. Let's look at these little guys first, of course. These are the lanterns. This is where you save in the game. Let me zoom in. Okay. Uh, so these are the little guys I was talking about that eventually you can get a, a quite a lot more of them than, what, four here? And you can give them, like, little top hats and stuff like that, which is always kind of fun. Um, the lanterns are cool. Uh, painting this, I think, would go pretty quick, actually, which is kind of nice. And look at that. It's the only thing I know of that has a textured base on here. Welcome to modern day miniatures. Uh, come on. Um, so the, if you didn't know, the year's 2021, and uh, miniatures have progressed since 2009. So maybe you should get with the program. <laughs> No, this looks good though. I always like the bells too. I thought that was cool. All right, those are teeny tiny. Uh, okay, uh, I'm not gonna show you too much. These are these here. These are the hero version that we've already seen. 
of the other miniatures. So I'm not going to show you that. Um, up, oh, up here is this guy. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. There we go. Chain came out great. Uh, when it's this big, it's a little bit easier. But either way, the chain came out good, regardless of size. The keys look good. I like the key ring and everything. Um, the weapon is thicker than I would like by a lot, actually. I Again, I don't like these kind of thick, fat weapons. They do it because they're using cheap plastic, and so it kind of has to be that. It's slightly based off the design, just because, again, these are bigger things anyway, but I don't think it needs to be that big. That's just silly. Uh, the huge sunken in eyes are actually really cool, and they're reflecting lights. So it looks like they're looking at you, which is awesome. <laughs> um, yeah, the feet look good here. This, These are actually good. I wonder if they put more effort into the... Um, Kickstarter exclusives. I guess we'll have to be the judge of that. Um, yeah, either way, I think he looks great. Messed up one up here. <laughs> I don't know how they go. Alright, uh, let's look at her. So this is cool. I'm glad they added the dolls. In fact, they have four dolls, um, which is kind of cool. There's a little pore spout there. Detail work on here is great. Um, I love the pose as well. Uh, her feet are put together, but I think that's smart because they're super skinny. And then obviously she's not, like her dress is really big and all that. So that adds a little bit more um, security to her by having her uh, feet together. So I think that's actually pretty smart. And goes with the pose. Um, hair looks good. Hat looks good. There's a pretty mean mold line that you're dealing with, but that's kind of in general. Uh, Come on, definitely has more mold lines than I think most. Uh, these guys, these guys were fun. Uh, I don't know what this ever was. Like, it looks like a rake comb stool thing. <laughs> I don't know what it's supposed to be. Love the hair, though. The face looks good on this one. Uh, the pose is pretty good. I like how he's leaning forward like that. Um, overall, he's cool as well. Yeah, we're just zipping along here. Oh, no, we got freaking snap-in spiders. Snap-in spiders. Okay, come on. This... Shouldn't have to be that much of a struggle. Really shouldn't. Okay, we got spiders, like actual spiders. Uh, the texture here is fantastic for a spider. I think that's gonna be awesome. I think it'd be great. Uh, you can see the post here where he was glued <laughs> in it. I don't know if that means he wasn't pushed in enough or, or what's going on there, but this one you don't see. This one you do see. <laughs> Might have to look at some more and see if they're there. But um, otherwise, I think this looks good. I don't really have any complaints for any part of that except that post. Let's see if, let's just take one more. If I can get them out. Oh my gosh. Snappins are dumb. Uh, yeah, so you can see the post there as well. So they just have a post showing. Like, how am I supposed to hate snapping? Especially this level snap in. Like, why would you? Why would you do this? There. That's dumb. Okay. Moving on from that dumb thing. These guys, these were towards the end as well. Um, and uh, I actually thought these guys were pretty okay. The worst part is they're throwing these big giant boulders, but they just had the kind of standing there dumb look to them on this one. So this guy does not look threatening at all, which is unfortunate because in the game, I think they were actually pretty good. Again, there was these giants that would just hurl freaking rocks at you. And like, jerks. <laughs> good texture on the legs. It's interesting to see that, is this like mechanical? Or something like it almost looks mechanical doesn't it huh that's kind of interesting anyway feet look good um i, I like it. i mean he's got some really weird texture all of it looks good i like the mouth actually too that's pretty cool um definitely unsettling but not exactly the most threatening uh pose <laughs> uh, this guy on the other hand <laughs> see he split down the middle but that's on purpose <laughs> Uh, yeah, so the sideways face actually always freaked me out, especially that it was enlarged like that. Like, just the neck part freaks me out. It does look like he was split, as you can see, but it is a much better glue job than the other one, so that's good at least. I'd still prefer not to have it split down the middle, but, you know, I don't always get what I want, apparently. <laughs> apparently not. Um, no, I like him. I think he's cool. Uh, definitely will have to fill that in. It'll be a little annoying in the hair, but that's okay. The fire, by the way. I love how it's like wicking away like that. All right, we got some chests. Uh, they look like chests. We, you know, I have so many chests at this point. I do like that there's a little bit hanging out here. I think it's kind of cool. 
Um, it definitely has a, a a style that's nice. It has very big like rivets and stuff like that. And even the hinges are actually pretty big. So I like those, those are cool. And then finally, the spider. Let's zoom out a little bit more. Cause it's a big spider, <laughs> upside down. And again, look, basing, I'm down with it. I like it. And pretty good uh, separation between uh, it and its base, which is nice. I don't know exactly what's going on here. There's just a whole bunch of fur by the looks of it. And this, <laughs> like, are these eyes? These look like, like weird nipples or something. I don't know what's going on there. The fur texture though, this is awesome fur texture. Like, look at that fur. That has to be some of the best fur I have ever seen. Um, it's insane coming from this game of all games, but <laughs> because of the other miniatures, but that is some great fur. Fantastic. That being said, the um, the line here at separating it is very obvious thanks to that. Um, but again, a little bit of putty in there, I think, will go a long way. Uh, yeah, no, these, these legs look fine. They Again, they should be kind of smooth and spidery and nasty looking. The inside here, I think, looks great as well. Uh, yeah, rock looks good. All this looks good. I like this mini too. This is a good mini. All right, that's it for that box. We only got a few more, so let's get to them. Now we have the Chalice Dungeon. Uh, this one, ooh, I caught it. This one. <laughs> It's all of these and uh, all of that. Yeah, that, that that's what's in it. <laughs> Let's open it up. Let's see what we're doing here. Man, I'm going to cause some problems with this new camera angle. How do you guys like this new camera angle, by the way? Do let me know. I'd be curious. I like it because I get to see myself in it and I'm just self-centered like that. No. <laughs> I think it's kind of nice to not just be hovering hands. I feel it's a little bit more... A little bit more personable to, you know, see a person. Especially during these COVID times, like without a mask, you can actually see me here. Uh, love the art on this one, by the way. So they have this here, but it's definitely a different lighting. Like, it just seems brighter to me. Is it just me? He seems brighter here. I don't know. Okay, here we have a very short rule set of how to play the child's dungeon mode this is a different version we have new tiles same kind of crappy quality we have these boards here looks like they kind of kind of fold like that there you go uh, we got hunter versus hunter so this is like the pvp version where you can um, go ahead and attack other people. Uh, it looks like they all say the same thing. It's just there to keep your stuff hidden. And uh, yeah, then it, it's a you know front and back or back and front. I don't know which side's which. They're doing this whole thing again. And again, I don't get it. I don't know why having my stuff slide out here is something they're trying to do. But that's what happens every time in case you hadn't noticed. And then like it barely fits. I don't. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. I hate. I hate this little window here. I don't. It's impractical. Like, because now I'm going to have to try and, like, open it up, and it's caught on here. So I'm going to have to try and, like, pull it out that way. A mini's falling out of here because I bet they didn't put a lid on this. They did not. Look at it. Okay, so, so. Do you, see, do you see how one fell out of there? Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. I'll tell you why. Because unlike what it would have done if they had just put a lid on here, like every other part of it, they want to use this as the lid. The problem, the problem with this as a lid is it's not secure on there like a lid is. It can actually pop up. And that, that flexibility for it to pop up, especially when you have a big old open spot here, means that they can pop up with it and they can slide around and they can move around. This is not a lid for miniatures. It's not. It, it, it's too flexible. Look, look, look how much wider that can get. Do you, do, do, you, do you see that? No, no, not for miniatures. Okay. Anyway, a lot of minis here. We'll look at those real quick. You got big cards. You got medium cards. You got small cards. I don't know how many times I've said that. How many boxes have there been? <laughs> Seems to be what they're doing. At least those are nice and secure, unlike these character trays, which I just tossed to the side. But um, in this one, we have the Beast Claw, the Chick Edge, 
the stake driver, and the rifle spear. Um, none that I preferred. But they're there, if you want more weapons. Um, by the way, very skinny, cheap uh, plastic here. Definitely not... Um, like, 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 you see how, like, my arm's just, like, or my hand's just denting into it, and it's all wop. Like, it's very... Not premium. You know, I do... Shh, so loud. I do much prefer a more premium Kickstarter delivery than what we're getting here. I'm not saying that the, you know, the, the, the minis might be great. I don't know. I haven't looked at them yet, but... Just be, between the cardboard and, and the, the, the odd, like, windows and the, uh, the much skinnier, uh, plastic used, and I don't know, I just, I miss, I miss premium stuff, because this is very, very much for the masses. All right. That here, put all this here, but... Probably got a lot cheaper than it will at retail, so there is that. Let's look at these minis, because they did look good. Alright, now we get to open up the Chaz Dungeon in detail, see what it's all about up close. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I already showed a lot of this kind of stuff, so we're going to skip that. I won't look at it again. Come on, get out of here. Alright, so it's some crappy cardboard that we know is crap, so skip the crap cardboard. We get a... Another cardboard box. I don't like this at all. I don't understand what benefit that gives anybody. I don't know how that's better or anything. What do I know? <laughs> and, and this whole separation thing here is also really annoying. You get a lid. Come on. Ugh, this is inconvenient. Okay. Forget anything in there. No. All right. Let's. I guess. Just take a look at the separate one first. And zoom in a little bit. Looking at some minis. All right, first let's look at the satyr-looking kind of guy. Um, yeah, I like him. <laughs> what can I say? Uh, the fact that his face is, you know, he he was assembled here is kind of unfortunate because it's kind of obvious, but. You could definitely uh, fix that. This guy, I feel, would paint up quick. I'm tempted. If I really do like this game, I'm going to try and paint a lot of these kind of quickies um, really quick where I can just get them done, right? Same with, like, this guy. I feel like you can just paint a lot of these quite quickly. It's a little bit of, like, exposed rib and inside of the, you know, flesh and, you know, all that kind of necrosis and whatnot. But otherwise, it's just a puppy. Otherwise, it's just a puppy. Getting one of the first enemies that you fight. This guy here, <laughs> again, love the hat, actually. It's like a wizard hat. Great, you know, whatever kind of plastic they use, while I'm not always impressed with it, it does great at chainmail. Like, that is some good chainmail. I dig that. Even the um, sectioned plates here are really good. And even the, like, netting here. You hear all that texture? Like, that's really good. That's not bad. And this one, it's it's just all in the back, too. And then it, kind of the, the trim here. This is a nice mini. I like this one. This actually turned out quite good. Um, the only kind of iffy part is is the um is the hand there, a little kind of lackluster. All right, you can get the bell tolls lady here. If I can get her out, here she is. Um, so the knife, it's all. I mean, it's all right. It'll look good when it's painted, but unpainted, you can kind of barely tell it's even there, right? Great texture on everything that she's wearing, which is cool. I like that. Her face actually looks pretty good, too, I feel. Um, yeah, I like how they hold the bells, by the way. They're always, like, just cupping fingers through it, which I think is just kind of unsettling and unique at the same time. So I like that. We've already seen the bad version of these guys, so we're not going to look at them again. Instead, we're just going to look at this. And as you can see, it's a very skinny, weird skeleton th or a scorpion thing with a face. Because why not? <laughs> and extra long pinchers there. Um, again, I feel like a lot of these would paint up pretty darn quick. All right, that's it for those. Move those to the side. Take the lid off. Ooh, spilling stuff everywhere. <laughs> All right. Oh. 
Look at that. Again, the fur is so good in this game. <laughs> I know I'm all over the place, but there are times where I'm upset at the quality of this game and other times where I think they did a great job. And I, I mean, this rat looks more necrotic by far than like the brood mother, for instance, than no sworn. Like, I mean, you got to give it credit where credit's due. This is nasty. It's got three different layers. It's got the fur. It's got the pustule skin exposed boils and then it's got its bone underneath even that it's got really crazy buggy eyes that are obviously like spiral green crazy um it, 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 that, that fur is insane the uh the plated rat tail it's definitely an exaggerated look there look at the muscles showing there with the nasty pustules with the head right there it's about to pop and burst and be disgusting and oh my gosh this is gross <laughs> I like this. That rat's cool. All right, let's see here. We got uh, got these guys, which I don't even know what's going on here, but apparently it's got weapons attached to its uh, mouth because sure, why the heck not, right? Uh, great eye detail. Um, really great detail up here, uh, just in general. So this this chest dungeon thing is obviously are off to a good start so far. I uh, love the fur. This kind of fur right here, barely noticeable. This kind of fur, very noticeable. It just kind of depends. Some sculpted right, and some textured, right? That's kind of the difference there. Um, the spikes, I think, ended up quite well uh, also. This is another one where they split it in half to do a quick kind of, okay, now we know the pull direction easily because then there's no in-between on this. Just cut it right in half. However, this is glued a lot better, thankfully, so that's good. Okay, we got a, a big one coming up here. Look at this guy. <laughs> Crazy. So again, it goes from skinny to super big. Look at the teeth on that. Look at that. Look at this guy. Man, I should open him up. I should open this box up first. That's why I started on such a better a better term. <laughs> oh, man. Um, that stubby tail is really cool looking, too. I love that. love the like, clumps here. Um, the different style of hair coming out there. And then the texture on the head. Look at the um, the detail, by the way, in the mouth. So that's great as well that it has that. No tongue, um, just creepiness <laughs> as it like sucks you in a hole by the looks of it. Um, great claws. Again, I love that it's coming off the base so much. Um, this is a cool guy. I like him a lot. All right, let's see here. We got this lady here. She, like, she's just going to be praying. That's all. She's just a, a nice lady. Look at that dress. Oh my gosh, that is a dress and a half. That is cool. I dig that. Uh, flat on the bottom, but that's, I'm totally fine with that. That is okay by me. Um, is she pregnant? She looks pregnant to me. Maybe. Maybe I'm in trouble now. Maybe she's just fat. I don't know. Um, again, I love the kind of covering of the face as well, and then of the hands. Uh, Cool, cool mini. I will hike that a lot. That's cool. Let's see here. Where's she going? Underneath that, obviously. Obviously. There we go. I think that's good. All right. Let's just go and take him out. There's this guy. Look at that face. No, thank you. Look at... Oh, see, this is so disappointing. Put... You know... Okay, so here's the thing. I'm... I, I get... I get that you can't have this hollow without doing a whole bunch more pieces. I get that, okay? That's fine, okay, granted. Take that, we are now accepting that, that's where we're at. It doesn't have to be completely flat like this. You can put in a little bit of, more, even just some lumps, right? So it looks like there's like, it's, it's filled with anything but pure ice, <laughs> right? It's like, like I'd be fine with just, just some overall rough shapes of like, blotches like, like like just a little loop or something like something like that besides just flat anyway this is not split up the middle it's a zipper supposed to be there separate head the head looks great love the head the wrinkles the hair all that's awesome um love the cloak itself all the different kind of textures and every which way that's going the weapons actually are not very fat it's a little fatter than i'd like but you know, that's in general with this PVC. That's what they're trying to do. So it's not all bent up out of shape either. Love that he's barefoot, even though he's wearing all this. Um, yeah, no, I mean, a cool mini. I just, I hate that they didn't even try to make that look 
anywhere interesting. Next up, how about this thing? <laughs> uh, yeah, this is gross. That's what this is. So again, texture here is awesome. And uh, so far I'm seeing far less flash. Like it is still there, right? You can still see quite a bit of flash, but it's not nearly like that other one, not even close. So that's nice to see. Um, yeah, the texture on these legs are disgusting. Like all of it's kind of weird. That being said, it is unfortunate to see the giant um, uh, posts here. I would have liked them to at least make those clear, clear plastic. That would have been nice to see instead of this gray plastic. Um, I'm not going to stick my pointer thing there, but there's there that that's a thing. It's like a zipper. <laughs> and then there's like this kind of dangly thing that is supposed to like attract people to that area, I guess. <laughs> Sure, why not? <laughs> okay, moving on from that awkwardness, and we got this guy, Mr. Candleman. He would like to sell you a candle. Um, love the uh, uh, like uh, intros or whatever that is, and all the stitching on him and all that. Just a, a very interesting person. I love how unique I, I think he's designed. Um, the blades are attached to his hand, as you can see. They're fairly thick and chunky and don't look sharp at all, but... Uh, that's part of the course of this game so far. I do like the rough edge to this one, though. That's nice. Um, I love the drooping, by the way. I think that's always great. And there is a little bit of a face there. See, there's a chin. There's a mouth. There's a nose way up there. <laughs> um, yeah, all this looks cool. I dig that. Um, it's super skinny and super big. Just have the candles coming out of them all weird and cool. Um, this would look great painted, I feel. I feel this would look really cool painted. Um... Yeah, yeah, I mean, there's there's definitely an odd guy, that's for sure. And that's it. That's everything with this. So um, we got a little bit more, so let's go ahead and... Uh, how does he even go in? Come on, get in there. There we go. Uh, let's keep on trucking. All right, we only have two more left. The second to last one is the Forsaken Canehurst Castle. Let's take a look at that. We are. This is the castle proper. I already had like, like the expansion to it kind of thing, but this is the castle itself. Oh, come on now. All right. And again, love the art on this one. I do really like that. It's like a winter wonderland. It's very pleasant. Very pleasant. All right. We've got a whole bunch of game tiles and different locations and whatnot. Um, we have... Uh, an introduction and a Kanehurst summons, and we then we have the enemy cards. We also have the Vile Blood Covenant, Queen's Legacy, and then the Martyr's Legacy, Executioner's Covenant. So a lot of different. Um, you're going to be here for a while, which is cool. Uh, here's the Ghost Ladies. That's cool. Okay, we'll look at we'll look at that later. I, I don't want to don't want to spoil too much. And then we have big cards and little cards. So a little a little made up differently there. And then a whole bunch of minis and some nice uh, nice trays on it. Okay. All right, guys. We are down to one more box. But first, let's look at this one. All right, Forsaken Cor Canehurst Castle. If I could say it right, we are almost through with everything. I'm excited to look at the last box after this, and then be done. I mean, this is gonna be cool. So, all right, let's see. Get rid of all this stuff. We know that's a bad, terrible quality, and we don't want to be reminded of that if we can help it. <laughs> Open up the, uh, the box. We're gonna have to take it out. Take the, the uh, tape off. This never fits in here, by the way. I don't know why exactly. I wonder if, uh, if I opened it, if it would fit. Let's see. Let's see. Come on. Come on out. Can you fit in there now? Gladly. Okay, good. Right, get this tape off. Get this tape off. This tape off. Ooh, ow, 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 ow. Jeez. Okay, so, again, because they use such cheap plastic trays, this is also broken as well. I don't know if you're noticing a lot of that, but I certainly am because it's so cheap at this point. They've gotten so cheap 
It just falls freaking apart. At the, it's just pathetic. It's just sad, really. I think that's actually hurting the overall structure of this, so that's why it's sagging a little bit in the middle like it is. So that's awesome. Glad my copy came like that. If only they had spent a little bit more money to uh, have a better plastic. Maybe then uh, we wouldn't have that issue, huh? And my unboxing experience wouldn't be me getting poked in the finger by sure plastic. What a concept. All right, moving on. Right, we'll go put it this way this time. And put that that way. And zoom in. Okay, here we are. Love when minis are sitting. I think it's always interesting to try and have a, 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 a static sitting miniature be interesting. And I think they did a great job here. Part of it is making either the chair big or her small. Or either way, like she has room to kind of sit around in this chair. And she decides to sit at the very end and the corner automatically kind of interesting. You're wondering, okay, why is she like that? And then so that she's kind of just casually sitting on the, uh, on the armrest here and um, you know, just kind of chilling out and then you look and you're like what the heck's up with her face and what's going on here and then it's got this dress splayed out and just overall very cool i like this what i don't like is how lopsided it is and part of that is again just that cheap plastic but either way it's like it's not do you, do you see that it's like it's, it's not exactly straight so i don't know if i'm going to be able to get some um uh, hot water to fix that i don't even know if, how i'd fix that per se but uh Either way, it's a little a little lopsided, but that's okay. It's still it's still cool. I like it. And this guy definitely the most action pose I have seen in a character by far. Um, de just moved that way. You can tell based off the cape, which is kind of cool. Gives that nice sense of motion. Has a hand up like that. Again, they're not doing separate fingers at the scale. Um, they're not going to try that, which is probably for the best. I feel. Um, I do like this kind of staggered. Um, armor that you know everybody seems to be going with here that I kind of like it's kind of cool get two of those guys let's see you get four of this lady here I, oh this is uh, the the you know ghosts that are just gonna again like stab you um, love the uh, kind of blindfolded face and the uh, uh, design of the the dress here I think is great as well um, the hair, especially how her torso is tilted up like that, so her hair's just falling almost straight down. Very nice to see that. I think that's cool. I kind of dig that. Her head is separate um, because, again, there's that, that negative space you can't have, right? Um, and, in fact, it's separate here, too, because, again, negative space you can't have. <laughs> so it's like negative space, negative space, so part, part. Uh, you do think of that line around the neck. It almost looks like she tried to hang herself, which you might just roll with, but um, that is definitely there. See, so then you get this guy who uh, is not doing so well. Love the um, kind of the cane weapon down, uh, here. I think that's cool. Uh, love the the candle. I think that'll look great painted. Um, and just a frail little old dude. Look how skinny he gets. And again, I like the, the face and how again that's covered up too. Um, just a very interesting, interesting designed mini. Love how <laughs> look, look, look at his back. My goodness. <laughs> It's great. Okay. And we got this guy here um, who uh, forgot his clothes. So, excuse me. <laughs> no, no, kidding. Um, yeah, no, very weird. It's very weird because they gave him a very, very normal human face. And then just less and less human the more you, you kind of see elsewhere. Uh, the texture on the wings in particular are nice. I do like seeing that on both front and back. Actually, though, the back, a little bit smoother. Um, the hairline here is a little separate, but overall, uh, quite happy with that, though I do freak out about it a little bit. It's a little weird. Look at that. There's some sculpting on that base. Uh, this is awesome. Love the tongue. Love the hair. Um, hate this whole thing right here. Like, all of this is hated, but otherwise, um, very, very neat. And I do like the sculpted base. It's sad that it's just plopped on top of a flat base. It'd be great if they spent a little bit extra effort to just sculpt this little part here and that's it. Or just add some texture or in, literally anything. You can see the space that it was glued together with was done quite well as well. And then finally the big guy himself, the, uh, the king. Uh, a little bit of a s curved sword here but otherwise good. Um, he was actually kind of rough. Um, I remember fighting him. Uh, actually, I fought him 
uh, in the video, the details video for Bloodborne that I made, uh, I recorded myself actually playing the game, and uh, I was fighting him and dying a lot. You got to see that, which is great, but I beat him in the end. Um, I'll link down below to that video, just in case you're curious to see that, and if nothing else, you get to see me play a video game, which is the only way you're going to be able to see that on this channel. <laughs> I do like video games, play them all the time. Uh, definitely not part of my board game channel on YouTube, though. Let's see here. Uh, the hair is great. The robes are good. The crown is neat as well. Love the weapon. It just so much kind of detail and character there that I think is great. So I do like seeing that. Um, the chains are good. Uh, overall, yeah, just, just great. I love his like, little kind of cheesy smile <laughs> he's got going on. That's great, too. <laughs> All right, that is it. We just saw everything here. So now we have one more box. Last but not least, the Forbidden Woods. I think it was the last thing I took out of the box, and now it's the last one here because uh, it was, you know, in order, and then I put them down here, and I think that's just how that ended up working out, which is kind of cool. It almost makes it seem like I'm organized. I can dig that. I can dig it. All right, this one has a giant fat pig. <laughs> so there's that. Um, you see him pretty early in the game, and so you're like, oh, what is that? <laughs> because you're not used to seeing things that big, and he's like in this like weird underground sewer tunnel thing, and he just charges you. But you can like come in from behind him, stab him in the butt, because that's what you do with pigs. <laughs> that's what I did. Okay, anyway, uh, big cards, attack cards, it, just like the Kanehurst one, uh, several different uh, missions, and, like, they're quite thick, like a lot of scenarios here. And then you got uh, actually quite a bit of little cards as well. So a lot of stuff here, actually. And then, of course, of course. Well, how does this fit in? This doesn't even fit in there. Whatever. Um, you get two, you get two fat pigs. Uh, guys, let's look at some fat pigs. All right, guys, this is it, the final one. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I've had my ups and downs this whole time, but <laughs> it is what it is, I suppose. Um, all right, let's get rid of this junk. We know that's bad, blah, blah, blah. Ton Look how this has more cards than any of the others. That's a ton of cards. My goodness, it's a ton of cards. <laughs> okay, move that to the side. Let's get rid of this tape. There we go. All right. I actually ended up not liking this zone very much. Um, it, it was so different, but it, and that wasn't why I disliked it. I just I don't know for, for the, I don't like the layout of the level per se. It was I don't know. I just didn't like it. I didn't like the snakes. I didn't like the. Like, you know, tentacle people, there's, I don't know, it just it wasn't my thing. It wasn't my thing. Again, I didn't like how open it was, actually. It was fairly open. And, you know, that was a negative for me. Yeah, you know, okay, keeping all the cards in the lid. A little silly. Okay. <laughs> okay, uh, where to begin? Well, let's zoom in and start looking at something. Let's look at whatever the heck this is. I don't remember this at all. It's not looking like that, anyway. <laughs> right on his face, perfect. Okay, uh, that might be a little too close. Uh, a little bit more. Okay, there we go. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, this is weird. So this guy is just very bumpy. That's what he is. Very spory. <laughs> He's got his face. Um, doesn't seem to have much of a mouth, but I think that's mostly chin. <laughs> so what that is. Um, this just seems like filler. Like, is there supposed to be texture here? If there is or isn't, so that's a thing. <laughs> um, so we got a little branch here. So again, these kind of branches and stuff often don't have texture on them. And then flat here as well. So they definitely filled him in a little weird. But otherwise, I think he's actually kind of... I don't know. He's very creepy looking, that's for sure. <laughs> You're already looking at this guy, so let's go ahead and take a look at him. Love the face. I can tell you that right now. And again, I love how deep these... these uh. This texture goes like that is deep in there. Like, that is insane. <laughs> um, weapon actually looks pretty good, like that. Again, flat here. Would have been nice to taper in a little bit. Uh, texture on the legs look good. Uh, feet look good. Um, the hair obviously looks like crazy good, so I dig that. Um, though it is like perfectly kind of like <laughs> very U shaped or crescent shaped or whatever. Look at these guys here again. I did not like these guys very much at all. They have snakes coming out of their head because, of course, they do. 
Um, let's see if we go real small here, like this little guy here, um, t has the shape of a snake head, but no detail at all. <laughs> like there's just not the detail there. Uh, the mini though, like the rest of them actually looks quite good, very well detailed, though he's very much just standing there taking all of this. Like he's not really reacting at all. It's very, very, again, static. All right, next we got these guys, and these are cool. I dig this. Um, remember, there there were three of them. Um, you fought them all at the same time. Uh, they were pretty fun. I liked them. Uh, the texture ball thing here is cool. And again, snakes, because why not? Snakes and all of them. That's important, too. Each one had its own thing, and I remember trying to decide to, what to kill based off of what they did, but I forget even what they did. And again, the depth of this is always actually, I, like, I really like that. I like how deep these hoods go that just it helps sell it before it's even painted you see how black that looks like that's awesome i dig that a lot um it's cool that they're all a three on one instead of uh separate i actually prefer that i think they'd look a lot less cool if they weren't if they were separate next up a whole bunch of snakes again texture is fantastic on this all the teeth yes these snakes have teeth because why not um, look great as well. Kind of trying to look at some of these smaller ones here. It gets a little kind of fuzzy here on this guy. Um, but otherwise pretty good. A little fuzzy here too. Good grief. Like that texture is just bananas. Uh, coming through here. Yeah, so see, there's barely any. See how soft that is? That's unfortunate. They, you know, you have like this guy who's not that much smaller, right? Have that texture. And this guy have that texture. That's kind of a bummer. Um, this side is actually a little bit better for him, but either way, that back snake there really suffers. Uh, a little bit of an assembly issue here, but nothing too bad. Oh my gosh, that texture. Impressive. And finally, I'm going to end Bloodborne on a giant fat pig, because why the heck? I mean, look at him. He looks cute. I, he's a smiling. <laughs> Um, again, impressed by how deep those nostrils go. A little bit of a gap fill, obviously, on the uh, lower jaw. It's the only part really slotted in there. And then, of course, the head as a whole. Um, but otherwise, yeah, this looks just like he would have in-game. I, I mean, it wasn't great, but um, this is this is good. I like him. He, uh, he looks like he's about to wag his tail, actually. He's, like, super excited. <laughs> All right, I'll leave with that smiling face, even more than my own. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I had a blast unboxing this with you. Um, I can't wait to hear what you have to say, both the ups and downs. Hopefully, you put some live updates there so I can read, like, as you progress, just like I did. Because that was really, that was an odd order to unbox it in. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, overall, pretty cool. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks so much. I'll talk to you guys again real soon.